Screen star, Margot Robbie. This Sunday morning. Time and temperature is brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Is she still coming out dirty? Maybe your detergent. Only Cascade uses Gone as a built-in pre-rinse system. It rehydrates dried on food, lifts it off, and breaks it down. Doing the pre-rinse for you. Cascade Platinum. Scrape, load, done. You bacteria spreading throughout your home. Help stop the spread with Microband 24. It keeps killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria for up to 24 hours. Be confident in your clean Microband 24. Covering local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News This Morning. This is a really big deal for the players. It's a big deal for Durham, too. Right now on CBS 17, an economic boost this weekend for the Triangle. You can carry this trauma over time and not even realize it. And the new addition to the Raleigh Fire Department to help first responders deal with the stress of the job. It's kind of that time of year. It's the giving time of year. And a critical need right now to make sure local kids have presents to open on Christmas morning. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us on this Friday, December the 16th. I'm Bill Young. And I'm Brea Hollingsworth. We're going to get to Laura Smith in just a second. Hi, Laura. But first, we're going to get with, start with meteorologist Bill Ray on his last day. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we're looking at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport, and when you know on the last day that the camera's not working. 36 degrees outside, though that's working. It is 36 degrees. Let me go check why that, I can't even advance the map. Let me see if it's, the map? It did? Okay. It's just frozen. All right, 36 in Durham, 36 in Roxborough, 36 in Irwin, 42 in Fayetteville, 40 in Goldsboro, 41 Rocky Mount Wilson. And we've got just a patch or two of clouds. I've got mostly clear skies. Hey, if you're watching us in the Sand Hills, uh, a little bit of fog could develop, especially to the southwest. We do have patches or two of fog. Shouldn't uh, wreck your morning commute. But the map trying to show some fog, and then it'll burn off. And we're going to be nice and sunny this afternoon. Sunny sunshine and blue skies. And temperatures will reach the lower 50s on a westerly breeze about 5 to 12 miles per hour. It's going to be clear and cold tonight down to about freezing. And tomorrow is going to be mostly sunny to partly cloudy. This is a little dry cold front we don't have to worry about. It'll silently come through and just set us up for a little flow out of the northwest on Sunday. So Sunday is going to be colder than today and tomorrow. It's going to only be in the 40s. But we will be bright and dry for this weekend. So I've got cold conditions, 38 degrees at 8 o'clock, a patch or two of clouds, lots of sunshine this afternoon, chilly. We'll get up to about 52 degrees or so, 49 at noon, 45 at 6. But in between about 3 should be about when we get our high temperature. So mainly sunny today, 52 degrees. Tonight it's going to be clear, mostly clear, 32 degrees. Tomorrow mostly sunny to partly cloudy, 52. And then a little colder on Sunday, sunny skies. That little northwest flow takes over and we'll get up to 46 degrees. That's going to seem warm harm when you look at the end of the 10 day 49 on monday tuesday a mixture of clouds and sun 50 degrees first day of winter 49 a rain chance thursday maybe mixed with a few wet snowflakes 45 degrees and it could end as a little bit of flurry activity early friday look at those high temperatures 35 33 and for santa claus on christmas 36 degrees with lows in the teens but it should be dry Christmas weekend. I told you 40, uh, what was it, 45 or 9 is going to seem pretty good after you see the oh end of the 10 goodness. days. Oh my goodness, teens for lows. All right, well, we'll just have to get through it, but I think Santa's going to like that. You remember your teens? Do what? Yeah, you remember your teens. I do, right? as highs in Maine. That was on a good day. I mean, we're talking sometimes negative temperatures mm. for the, that area, but thankfully not here. All right, Barry, thanks for that. We'll have to use the winter coat a lot here of the coming week. Right now, you can see live drive map uh, looks really good here across the area. We do have a vehicle crash here in Raleigh, also dealing with some areas of fog. I noticed it coming in. It wasn't terrible, uh, but we'll monitor that as we progress through the morning. This is a look at that crash on Glenwood Avenue near uh, Pine Crest Road. If you are traveling that way, just heads up. We also have a major closure down in the Fayetteville area. This is uh, right there on a 301. And the northbound lanes close at this time, US 301, and this is right near Airport Road. So if you are traveling that way, just know you are going to have to take a detour. Maybe use 87 here instead, or you can uh, use Ligon Road here in that area as well as an alternate route. I'll work to find you a detour and bring you that information coming up. This morning, parents in Durham are encouraged to find other ways to get their children to school. It's all because of a bus driver shortage. Some buses won't run, others are delayed. 
The 14 affected routes are there on your screen. This weekend, it was hundreds of people who are expected to visit the Triangle pump some money into the local economy. Durham is hosting the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Championship game. City officials saying they're excited to welcome people from across the country to Durham. Susan Amy with Discover Durham says they held the football championship game last year and it drew in people from 29 different states. Amy says last year those fans and players brought in half a million dollars. This year they're expecting a similar amount in terms of people coming to the city and spending cash. They will go out to our restaurants. Uh, they'll be, of course, staying in our hotels, uh, seeing the sights in Durham. So we're introducing Durham to a whole group of people who otherwise wouldn't be coming here. The championship game will be played at the Durham County Memorial Stadium. Three first responders hurt in a shooting in Rowan County are expected to survive. Investigators say that a man started shooting when firefighters tried to put out a fire at his house. When police got to there, authorities say the man started shooting again. Officers fired back, shooting and killing the man. At this point, we are only hearing he's 45 years old. And emergencies just like that one revealed the unexpected dangers and hidden stresses of being a first responder. CBS 17's Galat Malamid shows us the new step the Raleigh Fire Department is taking in hopes of helping firefighters cope with stress. The Raleigh Fire Department hired a full-time staff psychologist and believes it's one of the first departments in the state to do so. Firefighters I spoke to from other departments applaud this move and say one of the most important things a firefighter can do is ask for help. First responders face traumatic experiences and emergencies every day. Beyond the call, firefighters point to other stressors like lack of sleep, running calls in the middle of the night, and living with people you did not pick. According to a 2021 CDC blog, firefighters are more likely to die by suicide than in the line of duty. Lauren Deere's own experience processing fatalities on a call led her to become a chaplain for the Northern Wake Fire Department and says when it comes to mental health. The most important thing is just um, support from um, the chiefs of the department and for the firefighters to know that their department cares about them. The Northern Wake Fire Interim Chief believes Raleigh hiring a staff psychologist can have a trickle-down effect benefiting other departments in Wake County. The Raleigh Professional Firefighters Association tells me they're excited about this move. The department says that this psychologist will also be available for retired Raleigh firefighters. In Raleigh, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. Time right now is 436. Coming up, a warning for seafood lovers. And the claims surrounding the popular game Fortnite and the legal action the carry based company now faces. That's later here on CBS 17. Teachers, healthcare workers, firefighters, volunteers, remarkable women are all around us. What they all have in common is being inspirational and helping those in need. CBS 17 will honor four local women who make our home a better place through their efforts. And one of four will represent us at the National Remarkable Women Awards in LA. Go to CBS17.com until December 17th to nominate a remarkable woman in your life. CBS 17 and MERS Aesthetics celebrate all the remarkable women in our lives. It's bow time. <laughs> nope, you're not seeing double. Right now, you can get two thick, hearty steak biscuits for five bucks only at Bojangles. And a deal that good is enough to make anyone dizzy. It's bow time. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. And by switching, you could even save $652. Thank you, Liberty Mutual. Now, contestants ready? Go! <laughs> Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Hey, Cover Girls. Let's be simply ageless with America's number one anti-aging foundation and the Triple Action Concealer to conceal, depuff, and care. And try Simply Ageless Lash Plumping Mascara. Simply Ageless from Cover Girl. With Gold Bond, you can age on your own terms. New Retinol Overnight means the smoothing benefits of retinol are now for your whole body. Plus, fast-working crepe corrector diminishes wrinkled skin in just two days. Gold Bond, champion your skin. 
Densify from Crest Pro Health. Like bones, your teeth lose density over time, but Crest has you covered. Crest Densify actively rebuilds tooth density to extend the life of teeth. Crest, the number one toothpaste brand in America. When you can barely smell your plug-in, what are your guests smelling? Try Febreze Fade to Five Plug. It has built-in technology to digitally control how much scent is released to smell first day fresh for 50 days. Join Angela Taylor and Rod Carter for CBS 17 News at 4. Two loads of snot-covered laundry. Only one will be sanitized. Wait. What? Adding Lysol laundry sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Detergent alone can't. Clean is good. Sanitized is better. CBS 17 Storm Team's forecast every 10 minutes starts now. All right, we're starting out in the 30s on this mid-December morning, Friday morning. We made it to Friday, 40 degrees in Clayton, 37 degrees in Zebulon, 37 Wake Forest in Raleigh, 38 Cary, 36 Apex in Holly Springs, 37 in Fuquay Varina. It's 36 in Durham, 34 in Pittsburgh, Chapel Hill taking the hour off. <laughs> we got, we're above freezing at least, uh, but it is a cold start. You want your jacket. It's at least a holding in the lower 40s in Fayetteville, 42, 41 in Rocky Mount, and 40 in Goldsboro. Skies are mostly clear. There's a patch or two of clouds, and we're watching for the possibility of a little bit of fog out there. Make note of that. There's no dense fog advisory, but there could be a little bit of fog, especially in the sand hills. The rays of sunshine after any morning fog burns off is going to be huge. We got a big number for you, and here we go. The rays of sunshine. Nine. That's what we've got. Nine is fine, right? So a patch or two of clouds you see, or I mean a, a fog you see trying to develop more in the sand hills, but lots of sunshine elsewhere. Everybody's nice and sunny at noon. We've got a westerly breeze today, dry direction, no rain to worry about, lots of sunshine, and then as we head towards six o'clock, mostly clear skies. So 36 at seven o'clock, we'll be up to 41 at nine, 49 at noon. Lots of sun by noon and sunny skies for the most part this afternoon. Highs around 52, at least in the triangle. Winds will be out of that west, and then we'll see those uh, winds be about 5 to 12 miles per hour. So sunshine in 55 in Fayetteville today, Lillington and Dunn, 53 in Sanford. We'll see 54 in Wilson, 53 in Rocky Mount and Smithfield, 55 in Benson, 51 in Roanoke Rapids, 50 Henderson, 47 Roxborough, Chill Spot, 50 Durham, 50 Chapel Hill, 52 Raleigh and Cary. So there you go on this Friday. Laura, how's traffic? Traffic looks really good here right now, but again, you did mention that fog, and so we are watching that right now. Some lower visibilities here in the triangle, mainly to our south and west and down towards the sand hills on the coastal plain. Uh, you can see down to zero mile visibility being reported there in Sanford and under a mile there in Siler City. We'll monitor this for you and keep you posted. Uh, right now we do have a crash here in Raleigh. This one is on Glenwood Avenue and uh, not too far away from Pine Crest Road. My big concern right now though down near in Fayetteville and this is 301 close in both directions due to a vehicle crash and this is near Airport Road. You're going to need to take Legion Road instead or 87 to get around this closure. This is going to be a big one. So we'll watch it and keep you posted if we get any information into our newsroom. Thanks, Laura. Kerry-based Epic Games, the company behind Fortnite, faces a lawsuit in Canada. This is wild. You've been talking about this at work for sure. There's a group of parents who claim that popular game is so addictive, it's affecting their kids to the point they are not getting enough sleep and they're not taking care of their hygiene. Epic Games calls the lawsuit meritless. A Canadian Supreme Court justice is allowing that class action lawsuit to move forward. Oysters sold in North Carolina now being recalled. There are dozens of reports of people getting sick. Mm -hmm. The oysters in question were harvested in Galveston Bay, Texas. Authorities say they are seeking patients with symptoms similar to uh, Norevis, a contagious virus that can be spread through contaminated food. State health officials say restaurants and stores across the state may be affected. A Raleigh business, which depends on honeybees to earn a profit, is out of thousands of dollars after the destruction of dozens of beehives. But this isn't the work of an ordinary vandal. The owner says a bear is responsible for terrorizing his property over the last month. Troy Olson is the owner of Heaven Sent Honey. He says a bear destroyed 38 beehives and all the honey, bees, and frames inside of them. By the size of the paw print left behind, Olson believes that this was a young, smaller bear. However, the financial hit wasn't. Although they had to slow down on business, customers and the community are pitching in to help out.
We got numerous calls and the market managers called and said that they wanted to try to do something that, that, um, to get us to continue producing honey because we didn't realize that there were so many people that rely on our honey. So it made me realize that we actually have, you know, you know, touched and, and, and we produce something that people want and it has affected our, you know, area around us. So far, they have raised several thousand dollars. The goal is $15,000. In today's job alert, we have four things to keep in mind when figuring out the salary at a new job. The Granger College of Engineering at the University of Illinois put together a list with four fast points to it. Know what your experience, skills, and education are worth on the open market today. And know the pay range for the industry, which might be adjusted for number three on the list, and that is cost of living where the job is located. If you do get multiple offers, use those to negotiate higher pay or a better benefits package. And maybe the job you really want pays less, but you might be able to get something like added vacation time as a perk. So if you are looking for some job advice, I got you covered. Head over to Job Alert underneath the news tab right there at the top of CBS17.com. Time right now is 440, almost 445. All week we are saying see you soon to meteorologist Bill Ray. After more than 40 years, he is retiring today. As we go to break, a little message from our very own Laura Smith. You not here is going to be not as fun back here in the weather center. I'm going to miss seeing you in the morning. You're the first person I see at 3 a.m. You're usually full of energy, and y'all get this. He doesn't even drink coffee. But I'm so excited you get to sleep in past at 2.30 in the morning and do what you want to do. You have earned the title a legend here in Central North Carolina. And there, people are going to miss seeing you on TV. So thank you for everything you have done to keep this community safe. And thank you so much for being the best mentor and friend. And again, I have had so much fun working with you. Stay in touch and congratulations. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's working hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The ceramides in V. They help restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture. We've got to have each other's backs. V. now the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. It only takes a second for an everyday item to become dangerous. Tide Pods Child Guard Pack helps keep your laundry packs in a safe place and your child safer. To close, twist until it clicks. Tide Pods Child Guard Packaging. It's Hamrick's Countdown to Christmas. Ladies and men's Skechers, 50% off. Men's flannels, just $5. Deer foam or isotone or slippers, $9. As seen on TV, Snuggies, $18. Men's and ladies' PJs and robes, $10.49. Designer handbags, $20. And eight-piece Calphalon cookware set, just $79.98. Hamrick's Countdown to Christmas. The year-end closeout sale starts right now. Dave here for Crossroads Ford in Wake Forest. Take full advantage of these discounts. All makes, all models are on sale from now until the end of the year. Do not miss this opportunity to save big and lock in your low interest rate before the year ends. Also, we are in desperate need for local trades. Get more for your trade today. And remember, don't tell me what you won't do. Tell me what you will do. Come see me today, Dave Burrell, only at Crossroads Ford in Wake Forest. On the next My Carolina, the holiday season means it's time to party. Yes, and no matter what style is your preference, Party City has it all. See all the fun they bring to the studio with their custom balloon bouquets, decorations, dinnerware, and so much more. Learn more at 9 a.m. Your heart is the beat of life. If you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. 
First psoriasis, then psoriatic arthritis. Even walking was tough. I had to do something. I started Cosentix. Cosentix can help you move, look, and feel better by treating the multiple symptoms of psoriatic arthritis. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections, some serious, and the lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Tell your doctor if your Crohn's disease symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Watch me. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. Now, from the CBS 17 Storm Team, your exclusive 10-day forecast. And good morning to you on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Bill Ray, and we've got lots of sun coming this weekend, and I'm including today as the weekend. Why not? We're going to see a decent amount of sun today. Saturday, a couple clouds at times, and Sunday is going to be completely sunny. So get ready for that. Rain is possible starting Thursday, and then maybe, this will get you excited, be mixed with a little bit of snow. We'll see. Maybe not accumulating snow, but a little bit of snow is in the forecast for Thursday into early Friday. Before we clear out, an Arctic air moves in for Christmas. I want to look ahead and tell you that it's going to be only in the 30s and lows in the teens for Christmas weekend, but it should be dry. So it's the weekend and beyond taking you for the next uh, week or so. Partly cloudy skies right now in 36, southwest winds at 5. Uh, and we've got a little bit of patchy fog around, even in the triangle. I'm concerned that we might see a little more develop in the sand hills this morning, so we'll keep an eye on that. Otherwise, just some partly cloudy skies to start you out on this Friday morning. So we'll go with a few clouds, mostly sunny through 10 o'clock, and then lots of sunshine this afternoon. The evening will start mainly clear, and we'll stay that way overnight as we'll drop into the freezing mark. Nothing, you know, like we're going to have coming up the following weekend, but we'll get down to about 32 tonight or so. So for today, though, we'll be in the upper 30s at uh, 8 o'clock, get to 49 at noon. We've got a high of 52 between 2 and 4 o'clock, and winds generally out of the west uh, 5 to 12 miles per hour. So here's how it sets up on the map. No cold fronts, no storms, no rain, nothing like that today. Just high pressure, the circulation around it bringing in a westerly breeze at about 5 to 12 miles per hour. That'll sink to the south. We'll have a west-southwest breeze tonight, which will be light, and we'll see mostly clear skies. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow. A little weak, dry cold front comes through unnoticed unless... I mean, you're not going to notice when it comes through, but you'll feel it on Sunday because the winds will shift to the northwest and it'll only be in the mid-40s after being in the lower 50s today and tomorrow. But it's dry weather for the next several days. So 52 degrees and mainly sunny today. 32, as I mentioned tonight, mostly clear. 52 on Saturday, 46 on Sunday, and then we'll be up to 49 on Monday. A few clouds on Tuesday, 50. Winter dawns at 49, and there's your chance on Thursday. A chance of rain, maybe mixed with a little snow, ending as a few flurries early Friday. Then we clear out and we're dry for Christmas weekend. But look at these temperatures, only in the 30s and lows in the teens. What do you think of that, Laura Smith? Yeah, I'm, I'm silent. I don't know about that. That just seems a little cold with lows in the teens already. Winter is coming for sure. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the work week right now. Uh, traffic off to a pretty quiet start, though. We do have a, a big closure in the Fayetteville region. Uh, this is on 301, just north of Hope Mills, and the uh, lanes are blocked in both uh, directions right there near Airport Road. So you're going to need to take an alternate route this morning. Close all the way up to Owen Drive. Legion Road's a good one. You've also got the option of 87, but we're going to monitor this for you and keep you posted. Right now, lots of green indicating traffic flow pretty much normal here in the Raleigh region. Coming up from Johnston County on time, about a 15-minute ride via 40 West. Thanks, Laura. Today is the last day to adopt an angel tree for the Salvation Army of Wake County's angel tree program. CBS 17, a very proud sponsor of the program this year. It helps kids in Wake County get the Christmas of their dreams. Organizers say that a couple hundred angels are still on the tree just waiting to be adopted. In order to adopt an angel, you can go to the Angel Cree at Crabtree Valley Mall near the Lego store, or you can go online and adopt one. Today, kind of a, a very exciting and very sad day here at CBS 17. Yeah, after nearly two decades here at CBS 17 and almost 40 years covering the weather in the Triangle, our very own meteorologist Bill Ray is retiring. Oh, we're definitely going to miss him, but there are a few people that wanted to tell him goodbye. Hi, Daddy, congratulations on your long, very storied, successful career. I'm so proud of you. 
Thank you for all the sacrifices that you made for us throughout the years that I didn't even realize growing up. Hey, Bill, congratulations on 40 years forecasting the weather in the triangle. That's amazing. And I'm grateful you and I have been friends for 31 of those years. Now you can sit back, relax, go to more UNC games, more Canes games, and enjoy that first winter storm watching from home. Congratulations, Bill. See you soon. So I was a TV director at another station here in this market when Bill moved to North Carolina in 1984. Uh, so we've been friends for a long time. Um, Bill, I suppose that you can't stay on the air in the same market for pretty much 40 years without doing something right. So congratulations on a great career. Best of luck in your retirement, and we'll be seeing you soon. for the last 10 years, I have worked with you through 10 hurricane seasons, 10 winter weathers, and 10 years of everything that you think you deserve extra time for. Um, most of our relationship has been through the control room, um, and I'm going to miss you a ton. You are super passionate about what you do, and I absolutely love working with you. And for the last time, wrap. I just wanted to wish you um, congratulations on your retirement. Um, it's going to be a lot different without you working here. And oh, and I have, I have one more person that wanted to say something. Congratulations, Bill Ray. May every day be a ray of sunshine. Have a great retirement, Bill. Hey, Bill. Uh, you and I worked together for many, many years, going back to another station in town that I won't mention here. So I'm going to really miss having you around the station. I just wanted to say... Congratulations on your retirement, and uh, because I edited this thing, I snuck in some Kings footage for you, since I know you love them so much. Hey, Bill, Rod Brindamar here. Just want to congratulate you on a great career, and good luck with your retirement. Well deserved. Um, not so much about your your great forecast there, cold and ice. We like it. Not many people do, but... Uh, Great job and good luck. So how did we become friends, especially when you're a Cubs fan and everyone knows what I am, but you know what, I'm glad we did. And I thank you for being there for me and the weather department, the newsroom, and especially our viewers over all those years. And congratulations to you on your retirement. Good luck, my friend, and go Cardinals. Hi, honey, congratulations on your retirement. I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. And I just want to thank you for all the sacrifices you've made throughout the years and your career opportunities so we could stay in this area. I cannot wait to see what this next chapter holds for us. And I love you very much. Congratulations. Well, we won't go there. Uh, <laughs> There was a picture of a, a, a former girlfriend that had nothing to do with my <laughs> wife when I was a teenager back in 1978. The prom to, picture. We want to make, sure, like, we wanted to make sure you were watching. <laughs> oh, I was always yeah. paying close attention. That was really sweet. Oh. That was just uh, tearing up a little bit. Oh. This is so nice. It's so nice. I'm, I'm speechless. Which is, as they say, unusual. <laughs> How was that last wake up this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? I woke up and said, oh, I think I have to use the bathroom. And I looked at my watch to see how much time I had. And it was one minute before my alarm went off. So I beat my alarm today for one last time. And so I turned it off and said, I'm done. Wow. And you get sunshine today for your last And we day. get sunshine after yesterday's miserable rain. We do have oh. a good rays of sunshine today. <laughs> it was worth it. I do have a problem with Wes wearing a Cardinals cap, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. They're always fighting on the phones about Cardinals and Cubs, right? Yeah, well, they took our catcher, so, oh. yeah. All right. we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> We're going to be saying goodbye all morning long. We'll see you back here in just a few minutes. At iMart Express, quality comes faster than you think. We love our pets, but we don't always love their hair, which is why we made Bounce Pet Hair and Lint Guard. With three times the pet hair fighting ingredients, just one sheet helps remove pet hair from your clothes. Looking good starts in the dryer with Bounce Pet. Airwick. Airwick scented oils are infused with natural essential oils to create authentic seasonal scents that fill your home with holiday spirit all season long. Connect to nature this season. When it's go time, I don't let constipation stop me. 
New great tasting Dolcolax Chewy Fruit Bites work naturally with the water in your body in as little as 30 minutes. So you can go fast, go gently, and go on with life. New Dolcolax Chewy Fruit Bites put you comfortably in control. A Plus Tree and Crane Services has been Raleigh's top tree service since 1996. That's more than 20 years of serving our neighbors. Whether it's helping your family or business recover from a natural disaster, or simply the threat of rotting wood, we guarantee you the safest, most professional experience possible. When it comes to our work, the safety of both our customers and employees are of the utmost importance. So when C Plus doesn't cut it, call A Plus for the best tree service in Central North Carolina. Where can you save time shopping and spend quality time at the same time? Lowe's, actually. The final days of Winterfest are here. Save now before they're gone. The big plays, the buzzer beaters, and all of the action. Each week, catch 30 minutes of sports highlights and interviews on the Sunday Night Overtime, only on CBS 17. Sponsored locally by your Central Carolina Chevy dealers. And now, please welcome Adam Montoya. Stop searching for value in all the wrong places. iMart Express has the best insurance offer around. Get a free second pair of glasses when you use insurance with us. It's like finding free money. Use your vision benefits before they expire and get your free second pair at iMart Express. Covering local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News This Morning. Good morning and happy Friday to you. I'm Brea Hollinsworth. And I'm Bill Young. We are going to get to Laura Smith coming up in just a second. And um, I feel the need to do something for the last time, and that is tap dance for you, Bill Ray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I mean, I'm a little distracted today. I forgot. This. I, there's nobody I'd rather tap dance for. <laughs> it's a little distracted. I forgot this camera was not working earlier, so I'm going to take it down. I'll remember to do that make a note of it to myself. Note to self, take the camera down. But uh, it's 38 degrees at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport and very blue. And for some reason, the map on this is getting hung up with it so i have to hit the actual space bar so we'll, we'll fix that 41 rocky mount wilson 40 goldsboro 41 in clinton 34 pittsburgh and sanford we've got uh, a couple clouds around and a little patch or two of fog so watch for that and especially down if to the sand hills i think that's the better chance to develop a little more widespread fog <clears throat> excuse me so you see a little bit of that showing up there but that'll come and go and Everybody else is nice and sunny for the most part, mostly sunny to sunny today. And we'll start the evening mostly clear. And your Friday night, it's going to get cold down into the, the freezing mark by tomorrow. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies tomorrow, but dry. And then as we head into Sunday, this little front will silently come by while you're sleeping. But when you wake up Sunday, you'll feel it because the winds will be out of the northwest and it'll only be in the mid-40s as opposed to the lower 50s like we're going to have on Saturday. But it is going to be dry this weekend. You don't have to worry about any of that rain like we had yesterday. So cold, 38 degrees at 8 o'clock, dry with sunshine, noon and 3 o'clock, 49 at noon, 52 at 3, 45 at 6 o'clock tonight. So let's go with the forecast. 52 degrees and mainly sunny, 32 tonight and mostly clear, mostly sunny to partly cloudy on Saturday. 52 sunny on Sunday 46 degrees so you can see the difference in temperatures there we'll try to climb out of that a little bit 49 to 50 Monday and Tuesday a few clouds on Tuesday partly cloudy on the first day of winter 49 and then to get everybody excited Thursday there'll be a chance of rain that some of the models are trying to show could mix with a little bit of wet snow 45 degrees and Arctic air is gonna blast in behind that as a matter of fact got to show this to you there's a maybe a couple early flurries on Friday but Friday will become mostly sunny Sunny, but only 35 and then generally partly cloudy for Christmas weekend but highs only in the 30s and the lows in the teens like my prom picture was once anyway go ahead <laughs> okay well I'm you know looking at those teens and those 30s for highs to tell you what if those models trend with some moisture oh you know down ooh. We'll see. Kids will get excited. Get excited. All right, just kidding. All right, all right, thanks for that. Hey, good morning, everyone. Let's show you what we're watching right now. Here is a, a live look at traffic flow on I-40 in both directions. You can see very light traffic. This is the time to leave because you won't be sitting in traffic. You'll be cruising at the speed limit. That does change as we get closer to 630. Right now, we are still monitoring a closure, which perhaps might have just uh, cleared right here in Fayetteville. 301, we had a crash near Airport Road. Still some uh, congestion in that 
that area, but we did have a crash there with all lanes blocked. You could still take Legion Road just in, uh, Legion Road just to be safe. We'll contain and monitor this for you, though, and I'll bring you some updates in just a bit. All right, Laura, thank you. New this morning, the shortage of bus drivers going to be forcing some parents in Durham to find new ways to get their kids to school. CBS 17's Darren Todd joins us live this morning in Durham with more on what schools are impacted. Good morning, Darren. Hey, good morning, Brea and Bill. Guys, 21 schools and 14 routes are impacted by the shortage of bus drivers. And this news was uh, given out to us actually last night. Now, this news isn't new to us, uh, Brea and Bill. We've been reporting on this for months. Even during the summer, this is an issue that the school system has been dealing with since that time, offering bonuses in hopes of attracting and keeping more drivers. Now, here's a list of some of those bus routes and schools impacted. Hillside High is one, Hope Valley Elementary, Oak Grove Elementary and a long list of others. To see the full list of bus routes and schools who are impacted, go on over to our website, CBS17.com. For now, live here in Durham, I'm Darren Tott with CBS 17 News. Thanks, Darren. The Lee County Sheriff's Office says a suspect wanted for murdering his father has been found dead. They say the suspect, Joseph Kelly's body, was found in a wooded area on Buckhorn Road. They think he took his own life. It was last week when an arrest warrant was first issued for Kelly after allegedly shooting and killing his own father, Randy Kelly, back in November. There are still no arrests or suspects linked to the Moore County power grid attack that left more than 40,000 customers in the dark. The governor's office is offering a $75,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Investigators say someone fired multiple shots at two substations in West End and Carthage. And Governor Roy Cooper and First Lady Cooper supported a Moore County business with some holiday shopping. Even though the store is one of the businesses that lost power for several days, the owner still managed to open up during the outage and provide free kids books and food to the public. People were really hungry. Um, my friend's neighbor was, she finally checked on her. She was in the bathroom on the floor. I mean, that, um, that was tough. But what I really have such great confidence in is how our community came together. We're continuing to work to make sure that we do everything we can to bring resources to Moore County. Governor Cooper said it will likely be sometime after Christmas before some kind of state disaster relief finally becomes available. Time right now is 5.05. United States, States sprinter Randolph Ross is taking to Twitter after being knocked out of the Bowerman Award. And what is now behind the lawsuit against North Carolina Representative Madison Cawthorn? And this is what you're missing. We are back with magician and mentalist Gary Goodman. Dun, dun, dun. What? I'm a good southerner. We could do 10 parts to this series. <laughs> <laughs> we are in an entirely other world. You are this week's Teacher Appreciation <laughs> Award winner. On the next My Car... <laughs> Don't miss another minute of My Carolina. Weekdays at 9 a.m. on CBS 17. Ever wonder why Lidl charges so little for their fresh baked goods? No. I heard Lidl's bakery is subsidized by the travel industry. See that guy with the pretzel? Clearly he wants to go to Germany. I'm going to tell the others. Lidl. It's bow time. <laughs> nope, you're not seeing double. Right now you can get two thick, hearty steak biscuits for five bucks only at Bojangles. And a deal that good is enough to make anyone dizzy. It's bow time. <laughs> A-plus Tree and Crane Services has been Raleigh's top tree service since 1996. That's more than 20 years of serving our neighbors. Whether it's helping your family or business recover from a natural disaster or simply the threat of rotting wood, we guarantee you the safest, most professional experience possible. When it comes to our work, the safety of both our customers and employees are of the utmost importance. So when C-plus doesn't cut it, call A-plus for the best tree service in central North Carolina. The year-end closeout sale starts right now. Dave here for Crossroads Ford in Wake Forest. 
Take full advantage of these discounts. All makes, all models are on sale from now until the end of the year. Do not miss this opportunity to save big and lock in your low interest rate before the year ends. Also, we are in desperate need for local trades. Get more for your trade today. And remember, don't tell me what you won't do. Tell me what you will do. Come see me today, Dave Burrell, only at Crossroads Ford in Wake Forest. Does helping others come naturally to you? Turn your passion for care into a career. Fresenius Kidney Care is now offering a $1,500 signing bonus along with on-the-job training and certification. Be the reason a kidney patient lives a longer, happier life. Apply today at fkcweightcareers.com. Take advantage of our generous offer and start your career helping those with kidney disease lead longer, better, healthier lives. Fresenius Kidney Care. There's always something new under the sun. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. Local weather that matters starts now on CBS 17 this morning. Hi, right, good morning. I'm meteorologist Bill Ray, and we've got temperatures in the 30s. It's cold start. Why don't you go? 35 in Durham, 38 in Raleigh, 39 in Garner, 35 in Holly Springs, 36 in Fuquay Arena, 36 in Apex, 40 in Clayton. That's not bad. 37 in Wake Forest. 36 in Zebulon, 34 in Pittsburgh. Hey, at least there's no rain out there. There's a little bit of fog in spots, so watch for that, especially watch some to maybe develop down through Pinehurst and Fayetteville this morning. It's 37 in Pinehurst, 42 in Fayetteville. It's 41 in Rocky Mount, 37 in Roanoke Rapids, 36 in Roxborough. A patch or two of clouds to start you out this morning and maybe a little bit of fog that develops. Otherwise, it's going to be sunny today. Uh, lots of sunshine, noontime through the afternoon hours, and then as we head into the evening hours, mostly clear skies. So patch or two of uh, clouds and maybe a little fog through 7 o'clock, mostly sunny, turns to sunny for everybody, if not uh, earlier than even 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, and we'll see temperatures climb to 49 degrees at lunchtime. And then this afternoon, I've got sunshine and blue skies and about 52 on average for a high in the triangle. West winds about 5 to 10 to 12 miles per hour, and the temperatures will fall quickly into the 40s once that sun goes down a little after 5 o'clock. 53 in Sanford, 55 in Dunn, 53 in Pinehurst, 55 Fayetteville and Fort Bragg and Lillington. We'll see 53 Rocky Mount, 54 Wilson, 53 in Smithfield. Clinton and Benson, good morning to you. Roanoke Rapids, 51. We'll see 52 in Raleigh and Cary, 50 in Chapel Hill and Durham, 47 in Roxborough and 50 in Henderson. So sunshine, but a chilly sunshine at times there, Laura. But it's nice that we got the sun today after all that rain and clouds yesterday. It was hard to even leave the house yesterday, yeah. how cold it was and just dreary. At least going into the weekend, it's sunny and just a little chilly. That's it, mm -hmm. right? All right, thanks for that, Bill Ray. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, being with us here this morning. Live Drive map looking like this right now. Uh, looks like we do have some issues with some fog this morning, so you're going to notice that patchy fog around the area. Glenwood Avenue near Pinecrest Road, we do have a crash reported here in North Raleigh. And then down to the south, I do want to let you know that 301 is actually still closed at this time. I don't know why that icon cleared earlier, uh, but it is still closed, and that icon is back. And this is near Airport Road in South Fayetteville. So if you are in this area, know you are going to have to take an alternate route due to this vehicle crash blocking all lanes. Legion Road 87, also two options for you and uh, to take here this morning and starting to slow down just a little bit not bad 13 minutes on us1 from 55 to downtown thank you laura united states sprinter randolph ross took to twitter after being removed from the bowerman awards after an announcement of a three-year suspension ross is suspended until june 30th 2025 and that means he'll miss the 2024 paris olympics the back-to-back -back ncaa champion was suspended due to altering official documents specifically regarding a drug test ross provided a copy of an automatic email allegedly confirming an update made to his whereabouts information for the relevant period but later admitted that he altered the email when questioned. Ross says in his Twitter statement, the Bowerman Committee waiting until the day before the flight departure to remove him from the list. He says officials called and told him to lie and say that he was removing himself. He then goes on to say that the track and field world is one of the most corrupt organizations in the world and doesn't protect its athletes. And 32 cadets are now law enforcement officers. One by one, dozens of cadets walked across the stage at Wake Tech's Basic Law Enforcement Training Academy. Graduates of the program went through 768 hours of rigorous training. Officials say that this is the largest class of BLET graduates Wake Tech has seen in years.
I got some good news for you this morning. Gas prices nationwide are falling. Nationally, a gallon of regular unleaded averaging 319. In North Carolina, at 298, we're below the $3 mark. And on average, in the Raleigh area, it's $3.02. And lower gas prices are good news for drivers who are getting ready to hit the road for the holidays. Travel experts expect to see an increase in drivers this year. One man says that he might take a longer trip because of the lower prices. Yeah, I have uh, grandparents uh, about two and a half hours from here, thinking about seeing them over the holidays. So yeah, gas prices have helped with that. But the lower prices could be temporary. Right now, crews in Kansas are responding to by the largest U.S. onshore oil spill in nearly a decade. The used car market is currently booming because of the continued shortage of vehicles. Something that's been going on for a while, but there is growing concern over what's called odometer manipulation. Illegally rolling back the mileage on a used vehicle can change the value by hundreds, even thousands of dollars. In this current used car market where we're already seeing record high prices, it's a, it's a way to make a quick buck, unfortunately. North Carolina ranks 10th in the nation for rolled back odometers. Nationwide, there are 1.9 million vehicles with mismatched mileage. And you know, Brea, I've done these kind of stories, mm -hmm. and one of the best things to do is if you run um, like a Carfax or some kind of vehicle mm -hmm. history report, mm -hmm. sometimes it'll show the mileage and you can compare. Gotcha. Whether or not it was higher, let's say, two months ago oh, than when you're buying. Yeah. So, just a little extra something for you there. <laughs> it's coming up on 515. All you music lovers, two very popular singers coming to the Triangle, and we got the lowdown on when you can buy tickets. 16 years I've sat back there in the Weather Center, and most of that time, Bill, I've handed the forecast off to you in the morning, and you turn right back around and hand it off to me in the evening. And throughout that time, we talk and text and email and leave notes on the forecast sheet about a whole bunch of stuff, including the weather. But we rarely get to see each other, and that usually only happens when the weather is bad or someone's given us a free lunch. And that's not too often, it seems. So how did we become friends, especially when you're a Cubs fan? And everyone knows what I am. Congratulations to you on your retirement. Good luck, my friend, and go Cardinals. On the next My Carolina, the holiday season means it is time to party. And no matter what style is your preference, Party City has it all. See all the fun they bring to the studio with their custom balloon bouquets, decorations, dinnerware, and so much more. Oh, look at that costume. And after the celebrations, maybe dreams of sugar plum fairies are dancing in your head? Well, if so, we have just the show for you. We're going to sit down with some of the dancers from the Carolina Ballet to find out what we can expect in this year's performance of The Nutcracker. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you never miss a minute of the fun. Get in the game with Zaxby's all-new loyalty program, Zax Rewards. The more you earn, the more rewards to choose from. Sign up for Zax Rewards and score a free Big Zax snack meal. Download the Zaxby's app and get your game on. It was the fight before Christmas and all through the house, everyone was stirring, even the spouse. But then from the table there came such a scent. With Hormel Black Label Bacon, away tension went. Hey, hey girls! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is that for me? Huh? Can't wait to see what you got your mother. <laughs> the BMW Road Home Sales Event, on now. Receive a credit of up to $3,250 on select models now through January 3rd. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good job. <laughs> oh, do you have any margarine? Is the heat not on? Oh, is this for me? Top prize, $250,000? You know, I have always wanted to spend the holidays in Europe. Oh. <laughs> Holiday scratch-offs make everyone's dreams come true. There's never been a better time to get away. With a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event.
Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR on the 2023 Sonata or Santa Fe, plus $17.50 bonus cash. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Celebrate your holiday season with the return of Magic of Lights at Postal Credit Union Music Park. Bigger and brighter than ever for one low price. Featuring the larger-than-life sparkling holiday Barbie display, plus super-sized Bigfoot monster truck and the towering dinosaurs of prehistoric Christmas. Enjoy dancing lights synchronized to your favorite holiday tunes. Pack the car for one low price. November 18th through December 30th. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com. So small, so smart. Hearing aids that I can personalize to each ear right from here. Brilliant. This holiday season, save $400 on Ergo 6. Call or go online now. Zaxby's new chicken bacon, ranch chicken ranch, ranch bacon, chicken bacon ranch bacon loaded fries. Sorry, cheese. You're important too. Only at Zaxby's. Sponsored by Fiesel Roofing. Now, from the CBS 17 Storm Team, your exclusive 10-day forecast. All right, here's what we've got for you outside right now. A few clouds around, some fog, too. 38 degrees in Raleigh. You see a little haze, can you tell? In Apex there on Salem Street, yeah, a little, little lying clouds. 38 degrees, 37 southwest Raleigh. Chapel Hill not reporting the temperature right now. They've taken the morning off. The Weather Service just did issue a uh, dense fog advisory till 9 o'clock for the Triangle and back into the Sand Hills. Doesn't include Fayetteville, but does include Pinehurst in the Sand Hills and Sanford. And then in the uh, Piedmont there in the Triangle, Durham, Raleigh, Chapel Hill, and back through Siler City. And that also goes back to the Triad. If you're going to be traveling, you'll run into some fog. Visibility could be under a quarter of a mile. Laura's keeping track of the visibilities. Satellite picking up just some partly cloudy skies right now, but some of that fog you see trying to detect on the map will burn off quickly. And lunchtime, everybody's sunny. Everybody's pretty much sunny this afternoon as we're going to enjoy a nice day. And we're going to keep the dry weather with us, partly cloudy to mostly sunny on Saturday. This little weak dry front drops through, and we're still going to see sunny skies, but a little chillier air on Sunday. So I've got 52 today and 52 tomorrow. More sun today? Well, still a decent amount of sun tomorrow. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy, but the most sun on Sunday, but it's going to be colder, a high of 46. Next week, here we go, 49, 50, 49 for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Varying amounts of clouds, a chance of rain, maybe. Some of the models showing mixing with some snow. The atmosphere sets up right on Thursday, ending as a few flurries early Friday. The high will drop to 45 on Thursday, down to 26 Friday morning. Those flurries end, the sun comes out, and it's only 35 for a high. And here you go, Merry Christmas. Uh, we've got 33 on Christmas Eve and 36 on Sunday with lows in the teens. Santa will like that, I guess. Yeah, Santa no will No Bermuda not... shorts for Santa. Yeah, San yeah, he'll, yeah, Santa will not be sweating here in Central North Carolina, so I think he'll be relieved after all the hard work uh, on uh, Christmas. You can see right now visibility looking a little rough here this morning in some parts of our viewing area, especially down to the south and west here of Raleigh. Down to zero mile visibility in Sanford, under a mile in Siler City, nearing uh, zero mile visibility. And so we're definitely dealing with the patchy fog not bad here in Raleigh uh, northward, uh, but we're going to continue to monitor conditions for you. Right now, uh, we do have a few incidents, including one here in Raleigh. We've got a crash from Glenwood Avenue near Pine at Crest Road. And then we have a vehicle crash down in southern Fayetteville. And this has a portion of 301 close in both directions near Airport Road. Well, good morning, everybody. Chris Clark coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. We're actually in the Omni at CNN Center. We're not far right now from where that Celebration Bowl is going to take place. It's only about a half mile that way at the brand new Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It's going to be a battle between those Jackson State Tigers and the NC Central Eagles. And speaking of which, the Eagles, man, they just keep on bringing in the awards. Junior defensive back Khalil Baker and junior offensive lineman Corey Bullock, they were named to that 2022 HBCU All-America team, while junior quarterback Davius Richard was selected as the Box Row Impact Player of the Year. Of course, Richard, the 2022 MEAC Offensive Player of the Year, he was also recognized as an honorable mention on the Box Row HBCU All-America team, along with senior offensive lineman Robert Mitchell and junior kicker Adrian Olivo. Coach Oliver, your thoughts on the guys? You know, that's what we expect around here. You know, greatness. We want to be great. And, you know, it, the big thing for me is when you see, you know, uh, uh, P, we get player of the year, and then he's graduating on Saturday. You know, I mean, that, that's what it's about. Uh, he had opportunity to go to Las Vegas with the, with the National Football Foundation and get an award there. 
Um, so, so for guys to get their degree, that's first and foremost, that's what I'm most pleased about. Uh, and then all the other accolades, um, those guys as well deserving of it. Now, you got to understand when he said that's what we expect. He's not being boastful. That, that's just the standard that those guys have over there in Durham. And it, it's getting higher all of the time. Can't wait to see what this crew is going to do on Saturday. We're going to have much, much more coming up later on today at noon as well as 4, 5, and 6. In Atlanta, I'm Chris Clark, CBS 17 Sports. North Carolina Representative Madison Cawthorn is being sued by lawyers that recently represented him for a breach of contract. The Bob law firm, law firm represented Cawthorn when a group of voters tried to disqualify him because he was involved with the Stop the Steal rally just before the riots on January 6th. The firm says that he, wasn't, he hasn't paid them almost $200,000 in legal fees. Governor Cooper said he hoped state leaders would reach an agreement this month on expanding Medicaid coverage. But leaders in the General Assembly say that they'll want to wait until next year to take up the issue again. This week, the American Cancer Society launched an ad campaign urging the General Assembly to resolve this, highlighting the state's reputation in college basketball and former UNC head coach Roy Williams's recent op-ed backing expansion. Republican leaders now say that they support the idea of expanding Medicaid coverage to about 600,000 low-income people, but they've made little progress since the summer. Every month that goes by, we're giving up more than half a billion dollars. We're costing people's lives. We're so close. And we really wanted to get, you know, providers and, and professionals, folks who really work in this area and know it, to be really engaged in a meaningful way to, to offer some guidance. Some Republicans remain concerned about the long-term implications of adding so many people to the Medicaid program. Two sailors thanking the U.S. Coast Guard after rescuing them off the coast of North Carolina. They were missing for about 10 days after their boat was headed to Florida and then blown off course. A Coast Guard crew member, the one who spotted the boat's emergency light. The sailors and their dog were stranded with no power, no fuel, very little water. Everyone miraculously expected to recover. The Wake County Animal Center needs your help. Full capacity means that the shelter could be forced to break their six-year record of avoiding euthanasia for space. Right now, there are more than 200 dogs in the county's care. There's added pressure because this is the only open in shelter in, uh, taken in the county. Other shelters or rescues can refuse an animal for any reason. The center is legally bound to care for abused animals and operators uh, have to keep strays for a specific period of time. If you are interested, you can find more information on our website. That's CBS17.com. A North Carolina woman is crossing off a check mark on her bucket list for her 97th birthday. Katie Sigmund decided to fly around her home city of Greensboro. I told him this was what I would love to do. And at three minutes flat, she, she came back and she said, you're going to for a flight for your birthday. And I could have gone into orbit right then. <laughs> oh, I love that. After the flight, Katie called Greensboro gorgeous. She says that uh, she never knew that the city would look so big from above. Shake Shack is opening a second location in the Triangle. Here's a video. We took the first Shake Shack opening up in our area. We got that video somewhere. It was in Raleigh, opened back in 2019. The new Shake Shack is on East Franklin Street in Chapel Hill. It's going to open up on December 22nd, which is next Thursday. The first 100 people who get in the door when it opens at 11 get a limited edition Shake Shack gift. Oh, I'm excited for that. All right, a social district is expected to be up and running in June in Cary. Council members approved the measure, which allows for the sale of alcohol in a walkable area between businesses around the downtown Cary Park. It'll operate from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday through Saturday. You officially have a chance to see two former American Idol contestants in Cary. Tickets are going on sale today for Ruben Studdard and, of course, North Carolina native Clay Aiken. The two will perform together at the Coca Booth Amphitheater as part of the 20 The Tour of the 20 The Tour sale. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, the ticket sale begins at 10 o'clock this morning. The concert is being held April 29th. And man, if you feel like seeing Shania Twain in concert, the ticket's going on sale to the general public today starting at 10. She's making a stop at PNC Arena on October 18th. 
2023 on her Queen of Me tour. Now, if you just can't wait that long to see Shania, don't worry. Her tour starts on April 28th. All you got to do is fly to Spokane, Washington. Love Shania. All right, the Black Nativity Durham returns to it, the in-person stage today. It's the 16th year for it. The performance was virtual in the past couple of years because of COVID-19. The tradition returns on December 16th. You can watch it at Hillside High School's theater. Time right now, 528. Need a new water heater? ARS Rescue Rooter provides free estimates on new water heater installation. Drains clogged? Take advantage of ARS's 83 or it's free drain clearing special. If we can't clear it, you don't pay for it. Visit ARS.com to schedule your same day service today. Pressing ahead and getting to what's next. You've always had what it takes to make it happen. And we have the tools to make it easier. At Strayer University, we give you a brand new laptop when you enroll in a bachelor's program to help you complete your coursework. We're always thinking about new ways to help set you up for success. So you can keep striving. Waiting sometimes is just inevitable. But if you're over 50 or live with a chronic condition, waiting could be deadly. Because conditions like heart disease or diabetes raise your risk of serious illness or death from untreated COVID. And if you don't get treatment within days, you may not be able to get treatment. So, got COVID symptoms? Get tested and get treated right away. It can't wait. Ever wonder why Lidl charges so little for their delicious, fresh-baked goods? No. I heard Lidl's bakery is subsidized by the international travel industry to get us to book more trips. See that guy with the pretzel? Clearly, he wants to go to Germany. He's two. Watch. How's that croissant? Great. Want to go to France? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to tell the others. Lidl. Holidays are for making memories, and you can count on Honda to help you make them. Whether it's in a versatile HRV, a sporty Civic, or a stylish Accord, start making memories of your own with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. New government regulations are driving HVAC prices higher. Call the pros at ARS Rescue Rooter today to beat the price increase. Schedule now and receive a free furnace with select new cooling systems, plus a free Nest thermostat, only from ARS. Call 919-865-7777. Covering local news that matters, this is CBS 17 News This Morning. This is a really big deal for the players. It's a big deal for Durham, too. Right now on CBS 17, an economic boost this weekend for one corner of the triangle. You can carry this trauma over time and not even realize it. And the new addition to the Raleigh Fire Department to help first responders deal with the stress of the job. It's kind of that time of year. It's the giving time of year. And a critical need right now to make sure local kids have presents to open come Christmas morning. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. It is December the 16th. I'm Bill Young. And I'm Brea Hollingsworth. We're going to get to Laura Smith in just a second. But first, we'll start with meteorologist Bill Ray with his final forecast. One of them. <laughs> Not dying. <laughs> you knew that was coming. 37 degrees outside with some patchy fog. And that fog is dense in some areas. And we'll show you a map in a second to confirm that. 41 in Rocky Mount Wilson, 39 in Goldsboro, 42 in Fayetteville, 35 in Pittsburgh, 34 in Durham, 36 in Roxboro, 34 in Henderson. There you go. A dense fog advisory has been issued just in the last half hour or so for the Triangle and parts of the Sand Hills. Technically, it doesn't include Hoke or Cumberland County. But the rest of the Sand Hills and back through the triad have that dense fog advisory till 9 o'clock. So visibilities could be reduced to less than a quarter of a mile. So be careful there. Picking up a little bit of that fog. Otherwise, if we get any, if you don't have any fog or if you do and it burns off, you're going to see sunny skies today. Lots of sunshine riding a westerly breeze about 5 to 12 miles per hour. Uh, we'll get into the low 50s. And then tonight it's going to get cold. We'll get down to about freezing. And tomorrow, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, but dry. And temperatures back in the low 50s. 
this little front will come through while you sleep. You won't even notice it uh, while you're sleeping, but we're going to see sunny skies on Sunday, and the winds are going to shift to the northwest, and colder air will come in, and that's what you'll notice on Sunday. It's only going to be in the mid-40s, so we got lower 50s dropping to mid-40s by Sunday. But the weekend does look bright and dry. So cold, a couple clouds, a little bit of fog, 38 degrees at 8 o'clock, dry, sunny skies this afternoon, chilly as we head into the evening hours, and our high temperature today going to come in at 52 degrees with lots of sunshine. 32 tonight with mostly clear skies, 52 tomorrow, mostly sunny to part cloudy a low of 30 tomorrow night 46 talked about it on Sunday looking ahead including the first day of winter will be uh, varying amounts of clouds and sun hanging around 4950 and Thursday looks interesting because there could be a little bit of snow mixed in with that rain during the day on Thursday the high will be 45 we'll tell you what's in store and what's uh, coming behind that system with the exclusive 10 day a little later this half hour. So it does include Christmas, though. It I know does. what it's going to do on Christmas. Do what? I know what it's going to do on Christmas. What is it going to do? I'm not going to tell you now. Why? Because I had. It's called a tease, Laura. I said. All right, you're right. I'm <laughs> messing. I wanted to see if we could still get it out of you. Thanks for that, Laura. It's going to we'll, be cold. It's going to be gonna cold. cold. Just, no, it's going to be really cold. How cold will have that coming up? That's the tease. Hey, hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us. We do have a new crash, looks like, there in the Apex area, maybe on 55. I'll take a closer look at that coming up. We have a crash here on Glenwood Avenue, but my main concern still at this time in South Fayetteville on 301, 95 business. And you can see that closure in place. So this this is going to create some major problems this morning near Airport Road. Take Legion Road instead here. We're working to get some information. Once we get some more information, we'll let you know. Uh, but, of course, that is our main concern at this hour. Lots of green, though, for drive times in and around Raleigh. About a 14-minute ride for NC42 uh, to downtown via 40 West. Thanks, Laura. This morning, parents in Durham are encouraged to find other ways to get their children to school. It's all because of a bus driver shortage. Some buses will not run. Some are delayed. The 14 affected routes are on your screen. We have a link on our website. We'll have more coverage later in our newscast. Some big bucks for the Bull City this weekend as people descend on the city for the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Championship Games. A lot of words. <laughs> this weekend, hundreds of people will be going to Durham, some of them for the very first time. CBS 17's Darren Todd is live in Durham to explain just how big of a deal this is for the city. Darren? Hey, good morning, Brea and Bill. Guys, this is a very big deal, and city officials are excited to welcome people from all across the country to come right here to the Bulls City. Now, actually, Susan Amy, who is with Discover Durham, says that they held this football championship game last year, and it drew in people from 29 different states, all right? Now, Amy also says that last year, those fans and players brought in half a million dollars. This year, they're expecting similar in terms of people coming to the city and spending their good earn money. They will go out to our restaurants. Uh, they'll be, of course, staying in our hotels, uh, seeing the sights in Durham. So we're introducing Durham to a whole group of people who otherwise wouldn't be coming here. So it's going to be a good time, guys. All right, well, the championship game will be played at the Durham, uh, looks like the County Memorial Stadium. And you can find out more information on tickets and more about the game actually on the Durham Sports Commission's website. Live here in Bull City, Darren Todd, CBS 17 News. All right, Darren, thank you. Three first responders hurt in a shooting in Rowan County are expected to survive. Investigators say that a man started shooting when the firefighters tried to put out the fire at his home. When police and deputies got to the scene, authorities say that man started shooting again. Officers fired back, shooting and killing the man who at this point is only being described as 45 years old. The Raleigh Fire Department taking a new step to help its firefighters handle stress and trauma. It hired a full-time staff psychologist and believes it's one of the first fire departments in the state to do so. Firefighters say they deal with other stressors such as lack of sleep, running calls in the middle of the night, and living with people that they did not pick. The chaplain of the Northern Wake Fire Department says when it comes to mental health, it's important for firefighters to know that they have support. Uh, the most important thing is just um, support from um, the chiefs of the department and for the firefighters to know that their department cares about them. 
According to a 2021 CDC blog, firefighters are more likely to die by suicide than in the line of duty. Time right now is 537. Coming up, a warning for seafood lovers. And the claims surrounding the popular game Fortnite, the legal action the Cary based company faces, and you are going to be talking about this one later today, I promise. Teachers, healthcare workers, firefighters, volunteers, remarkable women are all around us. What they all have in common is being inspirational and in helping those in need. CBS 17 will honor four local women who make our home a better place through their efforts. And one of four will represent us at the National Remarkable Women Awards in L.A. Go to CBS17.com until December 17th to nominate a remarkable woman in your life. CBS 17 and MERS Aesthetics celebrate all the remarkable women in our lives. Your roof can get complicated. Chimneys, vents, furnace pipes. That's why when we install your roofing system, we also install custom flashing. Visit BeezleLink.com and save $1,000 off your new roof. It's bow time. <laughs> nope, you're not seeing double. Right now, you can get two thick, hearty steak biscuits for five bucks only at Bojangles. And a deal that good is enough to make anyone dizzy. It's bow time. <laughs> Are we still on for three? I'm on the phone. When your team needs more space to work and eat. Carl, is that mackerel? No, it's a uh, trout. <laughs> it matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. Hilton for the stay. Need groceries delivered? Your dog walk, your lawn mow, anything at all. Get a gopher for it. With the gopher app, list the job. Then you set the price. With 100% of your offer going to the gopher. Go for it. Download the app to get started today. In the market for oversized rugs? Right now, almost all hand-knotted 10 by 14 and larger are 70% off, and many an additional 20% off. Also includes a special selection of $1,500 rugs at 80% off for just $2.99. Blockbuster sale, rug and home. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Binax now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. You know, here, it's not just about the vehicles, it's about the people. So here's my family that works for Heaster. There's me, my youngest daughter. She was our first office intern, son-in-law, and he works in our recon center. My oldest daughter started selling cars. My husband, who works for our Heaster Wholesale Parts Division at our AC Delco warehouse. You just really feel like you're a part of something. It's not just somewhere that you go to work. It's just one more reason to get off your Heaster and come to Heaster. CBS 17 Storm Team's forecast every 10 minutes starts now. I leave you with this reminder on the forecast of why you probably don't walk cats. This is my cat, Ziggy, uh, one last time to show you. And when we put up the Christmas tree and the Snoopy ornament, he said, no, I'll have none of that. That's a dog. And he, he, he attacked it. Uh, mind of their own, right? Kitty cats do. But if you have a puppy, a Snoopy of your own that you want to take for a walk today, uh, I've got yellow paws just because of the fog threat through the morning hours, through 9 o'clock. But the rest of the day... It'll be sunny, a little breeze at times out of the west, and we'll have temperatures get into the lower 50s uh, and then back into the upper 40s by 5 o'clock. So a chilly day uh, today to take your puppy uh, for a walk. Maybe you just watch your cat inside and attack your Christmas ornaments. Uh, 38 degrees at the airport, 37 in Lake Forest, 38 in Zebulon, 40 in Clayton, 35 Holly Springs, 37 Fuquay Varina, 35 Pittsburgh, 34 in Durham. Skies are partly cloudy, a little bit of fog as we mentioned, but I think any fog as it burns off will leave us with a nice sunshiny day and a rays of sunshine of a... No, yeah. yeah, that's mighty fine for a mid-December day when a lot of times December is normally like the cloudiest month of the year. Hey, we're going to have a flow generally out of the west and lots of sun today throughout the day. So Fayetteville, you've got a bit of fog possible, bright and dry at noon, mainly sunny this afternoon, 55 degrees. Cold start with some fog possibly in the triangle, 30s and 40s, bright and dry at noon, and then mainly sunny this afternoon, 52. Sunset, 503. All right, Laura Smith.
Take it away. All there right. You go. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at traffic right now. We do have a foggy commute for some of you, patchy fog, so just be on the lookout for that and just allow some extra time uh, this morning. Thankfully, we're not dealing with the rain. 55 in Apex on Williams Street, that is, at Upchurch Street. We do have a crash there, and then one here on Glenwood Avenue near Pinecrest Road. But down to the south in Fayetteville, a major closure due to a vehicle crash. We'll have more on that coming up. Thanks, Laura. Mm -hmm. Carrie-based Epic Games, the company behind Fortnite, faces a lawsuit in Canada. This is a doozy. There's a group of parents who claim the popular game is so addictive, it's affecting their kids to the point they are not getting enough sleep and they're not taking care of their hygiene. Epic Games calls the lawsuit meritless, but a Canadian Supreme Court justice is allowing that class action suit to move forward. Oysters sold in North Carolina now being recalled. Dozens of reports, in fact, of people getting sick. The oysters in question were harvested in Galveston Bay, Texas. Authorities say they're seeing patients with symptoms similar to the norovirus, which is a contagious virus that can be spread through contaminated food. State health officials say restaurants and stores all across the state might be affected. Time for your job alert, where we have four things to keep in mind when you figure out the salary for a new job. The Granger College of Engineering at the University of Illinois put together a list with four fast points to it. Know what your experience, your skills, and your education are worth on the open market. Know the pay range for the industry, which might be adjusted for number three on the list, and that is the cost of living where the job is located. If you do get multiple offers, use those to negotiate higher pay or a better benefits package. And maybe the job you really want pays less. Well, you might be able to get something like added vacation time as a perk. So if you do want a little bit more job advice or you need to look for a job, just click Job Alert underneath the news tab at the top of CBS17.com. Time right now is 544. All week long, we are saying see you soon to meteorologist Bill Ray. After more than 40 years, he is retiring today. As we go to break, a little message from our very own Laura Smith. You not here is going to be not as fun back here in the weather center. I'm going to miss seeing you in the morning. You're the first person I see at 3 a.m. You're usually full of energy, and y'all get this. He doesn't even drink coffee. But I'm so excited you get to sleep in past at 2.30 in the morning and do what you want to do. You have earned the title a legend here in central north carolina and there people are going to miss seeing you on tv so thank you for everything you have done to keep this community safe and thank you so much for being the best mentor and friend and again i have had so much fun working with you stay in touch and congratulations the holidays are here, and so is the cold weather. A $69 heating system tune-up from the pros at ARS Rescue Rooter is the perfect gift idea this season. Let ARS help keep your family warm and cozy all winter long. Visit ARS.com. Twas the fight before Christmas, and all through the house, everyone was stirring, even the spouse. But then from the table there came such a scent. With Hormel Black Label Bacon, away tension went. In North Carolina, we know a thing or two about basketball and we'll practice every day to be able to make that pass. We root for the underdog and we know how to hit the game-winning shot. But lawmakers continue to work across the aisle to expand Medicaid to 600,000 veterans, farmers, and cancer patients. Everyone wins. North Carolina lawmakers have an opportunity for a slam dunk. Join us in urging lawmakers to expand Medicaid. The ball is in their court. This winter, meet the heroes of performance. Only available at the Acura Season of Performance. This winter, visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the RDX.
West Shore Home prides itself on being the fastest and most convenient option for homeowners looking to update their shower or bath. Call in right now to take advantage of this limited time offer. Get five years of 0% APR, and for a limited time, get 50% off the cost of installation. The best part, when it comes time for installation, they can have your new shower bath installed in as little as one day. Call the number on your screen right now to get your shower bath project started and to take advantage of these amazing savings. It's nice to unwind after a long week of telling people how Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Is it natural? Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. New government regulations are driving HVAC prices higher. Call the pros at ARS Rescue Rooter today to beat the price increase. Schedule now and receive a free furnace with select new cooling systems, plus a free Nest thermostat, only from ARS. Call 919-865-7777. CBS 17 Storm Team, your exclusive 10-day forecast. All right, here's what we can expect as we head toward the weekend. Lots of sun. Yeah, we're going to see it today. If you got some fog at your house, uh, that'll burn off. We're going to see lots of sun today. Decent amount tomorrow and tons of sun on Sunday. Sunday's going to be completely clear. Rain is possible, not until Thursday. So we get a dry spell after all that rain we had last Thursday. So we could wait a week. Here comes some rain. But unlike yesterday's rain, next Thursday's rain could be mixed with some snow into early Friday morning, ending with some flurries. Because you know what? This system's bringing in some Arctic air just in time for Christmas. While Christmas weekend should be dry, highs are only going to be in the 30s, lows in the teens. You have been warned as we look at this weekend and beyond to see what's going to happen right to Christmas. All right, partly cloudy skies, 36. Winds just about three miles per hour, and we have visibility at three miles. That's not too bad in the triangle, but the Weather Service has issued that uh, dense fog advisory for the triangle and most of the sand hills, not including Fayetteville and Cumberland County or Rayford and Oak County, but everybody else and back through the triad. Visibility could go under a quarter of an inch. Expected to be all burned off by 9 o'clock as then everybody will be nice and sunny. So you see a couple clouds around, but not much. And so mostly sunny skies to sunny skies today to mainly clear skies as we head into the evening hours. Westerly breeze, and we'll get up to about 52 degrees today, somewhere between the hours of 2 and 4. So on the weather map, pretty quiet today. No big storms to look at. Just some sunshine after any fog burns off and mostly clear skies tonight as this high is bringing in a little, a little westerly breeze. It'll back off a little bit tomorrow. A couple clouds at times, so mostly sunny to partly cloudy. And while you sleep, Saturday night, a dry cold front will silently come through, but you'll feel it on Sunday because we'll pick up a northwest flow and we'll only have highs in the mid-40s. So today and tomorrow, 52 with a decent amount of sun. Lots today, mostly sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow, but sunny on Sunday, but 46. Lows around freezing both days. Monday morning will start out in the 20s, get up to 49. A mixture of clouds and sun on Tuesday, 50. Winter, 49. Here's what I'm talking about on Thursday. A chance of rain, maybe mixed with some snow, 45. Ending as a few flurries on Friday, and we turn mostly sunny Friday afternoon, but the high 35. Told you it was Arctic air. And then we're down into the teens, 33 on Saturday. And Santa, as we mentioned, won't need his Bermuda shorts. It's going to be cold, 36 degrees for your high on Christmas Day. All right, Laura, how's traffic? All right, thanks for that, Bill Ray. Yeah, traffic looks okay right now, but we do have a few things that could slow you down, including a new crash that just popped up here on Raleigh. We have a crash in Apex on William Street where we have some dense fog as well at up a church street. So be on the lookout for that. Allow extra time this morning. So dry roads, but definitely some uh, lower visibilities in uh, many locations. Glenwood Avenue near Pinecrest Road, we have a crash uh, reported there. My main concern right now still at this time is in Southern Fayetteville where we have 301 blocked in both directions due to a vehicle crash near Airport Road. Take Legion Road instead here this morning to get around this closure. We'll monitor this for you as soon as we get some information into the newsroom we'll let you know as well thanks laura it is now 5:51. it may be the most wonderful time of the year but police say the holiday season is an opportunity for crime too mm -hmm. authorities say shoplifting theft car break-ins and fraud are all crimes that they see rise during the month of december raleigh durham and garner police officers are increasing patrols security checks and they're working with businesses and retailers to prevent these crimes but you can always do your part they recommend locking your car door and parking uh, in well-lit areas. They also say hide valuables and keep wallets and purses near you.
any opportunity that a thief is given to steal something from you, whether it's your identity, whether it's your credit card information, whether it's just plain old packaging sitting on your front porch. If they have an opportunity to steal it, they're going to do it. And when it comes to online shopping, avoid fraud by only using trusted websites. And today is the last day to adopt an angel for the Salvation Army of Wake County's Angel Tree Program. CBS 17, a very proud sponsor of the program this year. It helps Wake County kids get the Christmas of their dreams. Organizers say that a couple hundred angels remain on that tree just waiting to be adopted. To adopt an angel, you can go to the Angel Tree at Crabtree Valley Mall. It's right near the Lego store. Or you can go online and adopt one. Today, quite the exciting and kind of sad day here at CBS 17. Yeah, after nearly two decades here at CBS 17 and almost 40 years covering the weather in the Triangle, meteorologist Bill Ray is retiring. And there are a few people that wanted to tell him goodbye. Hi, Daddy, congratulations on your long, very storied, successful career. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for all the sacrifices that you made for us throughout the years that I didn't even realize growing up. Hey, Bill, congratulations on 40 years forecasting the weather in the Triangle. That's amazing. And I'm grateful you and I have been friends for 31 of those years. Now you can sit back, relax, go to more UNC games, more Canes games, and enjoy that first winter storm watching from home. Congratulations, Bill. See you soon. So I was a TV director at another station here in this market when Bill moved to North Carolina in 1984. Uh, so we've been friends for a long time. Um, Bill, I suppose that you can't stay on the air in the same market for pretty much 40 years without doing something right. So congratulations on a great career. Best of luck in your retirement, and we'll be seeing you soon. for the last 10 years, I have worked with you through 10 hurricane seasons, 10 winter weathers, and 10 years of everything that you think you deserve extra time for. Um, most of our relationship has been through the control room, um, and I'm going to miss you a ton. You are super passionate about what you do, and I absolutely love working with you. And for the last time, wrap. I just wanted to wish you um, congratulations on your retirement. Um, it's going to be a lot different without you working here. And oh, and I have, I have one more person that wanted to say something. Congratulations, Bill Ray. May every day be a ray of sunshine. Have a great retirement, Bill. Hey, Bill. Uh, you and I have worked together for many, many years, going back to another station in town that I won't mention here. So I'm going to really miss having you around the station. I just wanted to say... Congratulations on your retirement, and uh, because I edited this thing, I snuck in some Kane's footage for you, since I know you love them so much. Hey, Bill, Rod Brindamar here. Just want to congratulate you on a great career, and good luck with your retirement. Well deserved. Um, not so much about your your great forecast there, cold and ice. We like it. Not many people do, but... Uh, Great job and good luck. So how did we become friends, especially when you're a Cubs fan and everyone knows what I am, but you know what, I'm glad we did. And I thank you for being there for me and the weather department, the newsroom, and especially our viewers over all those years. And congratulations to you on your retirement. Good luck, my friend, and go Cardinals. Hi, honey, congratulations on your retirement. I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. And I just want to thank you for all the sacrifices you've made throughout the years and your career opportunities so we could stay in this area. I cannot wait to see what this next chapter holds for us. And I love you very much. Congratulations. Hey, what she's calling me now? What? I'm going to be the house elf. The house elf. Oh, all elf? At house elf, yeah. Why did we get the elf designation? I don't know. I'm just, the, I guess, because elves run around and do things. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Elves, you know, kind of clean up. And I said, elves... can we use you too? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, run. Yeah. Let me give you my address. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm oh, half asleep, Bill, right? Run this errand. <laughs> yeah, that's good. But it's just so sweet. You know, and Doug, the director, he was the first friend I made in North Carolina. And I said, when I moved here, I said, this is a, such a great place. I can be a state fan, a Duke fan, and a, a UNC fan. And he said, Bill, you got to pick one. <laughs> I learned 
that's so, pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. And I, so I, he, he was a Carolina grad, so I picked Carolina, and good thing I did, because my wife's a Carolina graduate. Oh, so right, now you just down. made all the Duke uh, fans mad. Oh, well, yeah, I can't help it. I've, well, I've tried for 40 years <laughs> not to try to show any preference, but it, yeah, You're that's wild. what I... Right in. He's not, yeah, it's not going to matter. <laughs> uh, we are going to see you back here coming up in uh, just about two minutes. Ever wondered how Lidl can offer produce for such low prices? I heard Lidl married into Mother Nature's family to get unlimited access to perfect produce. Mother Nature's Lidl's sugar mama? Sugar grandmama. Lidl. Your gift of an animal from Hasbro International can help a family with food and Santa, I have a big wish. I want everyone to have enough to eat from Virginia. Let's make some big wishes come true. Be someone Santa at heifer.org. Annapolis, Pineville, and Raleigh. Rug and Home at RugandHome.com. With a family like that to take care of, the two of you have your hands full. At WakeMed Urgent Care, we're everywhere you are. So getting the care they need when they need it couldn't be more convenient. Soccer star? Easy. Kids? Covered. The twins? Done. Aches and pains? Virtual urgent care to the rescue. So download the WakeMed All Access app today and take care of everyone in the family, including the two of you. Waiting sometimes is just inevitable. But if you're over 50 or live with a chronic condition, waiting could be deadly because conditions like heart disease or diabetes raise your risk of serious illness or death from untreated COVID. And if you don't get treatment within days, you may not be able to get treatment. So got COVID symptoms? Get tested and get treated right away. It can't wait. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. You know, here, it's not just about the vehicles, it's about the people. Four of my nine children have worked here. Yeah, my son, Colin, he's sits right there. I mean, the 14 years explains it. That's all I could say about that. I've been here so long that when I started, my hair was brown. It's slightly gray now. It's just one more reason to get off your keister and come to Easter. Covering local news that matters, this is CBS 17 News This Morning. Good morning and happy Friday to you. I'm Brea Hollingsworth. And I'm Bill Young. We are going to check in with Laura coming up here in just a moment. But we are going to begin with meteorologist Bill Ray. I think that might be the last time I see it, Bill. Oh, no. Well, we got a half hour. We've got another, another time. Yeah, but Brea says it next time. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for all the times you said it, other Bill. 37 <laughs> degrees outside right now. We're reducing the visibility at Carter Finley Stadium. As a matter of fact, uh, that dense fog advisory we've been talking about is in effect for the triangle and points west and southwest. It's 34. It's cold. 34 in Durham, but all the rain is gone. 39 Rocky Mount, Wilson, 38 Goldsboro, 43 Fayetteville. Staying above freezing, Roxborough and Henderson, 34 degrees. There's the dense fog advisory from Durham to Raleigh. Chapel Hill's in there. Siler City, Sanford, Lillington, Pinehurst. Doesn't technically include Fayetteville. Doesn't mean you won't see a patch or two of fog in the southern sand hills but best chance the triangle back through the triad. Visibilities could be reduced to a quarter of a mile to 9 o'clock. So some partly cloudy skies right now. And any fog when it burns off, if you get any, will quickly turn to sunny skies. If you have no fog, you'll have sunny skies for the most part today, mainly sunny. And with a westerly breeze, we'll get up into the lower 50s today. It'll be mostly clear for your Friday night tonight. A few clouds tomorrow at times, mostly to partly cloudy. And then Saturday night, this little weak front comes through, dry front, I should say, and the winds will shift to the northwest and it'll be a little colder on Sunday, but it will be brilliantly sunny throughout the day, nary a cloud to be found. So we've got cold conditions 38 at 8 o'clock, dry with sunshine and chilly by 6 o'clock, 49 at noon, 52 at 3. As a matter of fact, we've got 52 degrees with mainly sunny skies today, mostly clear tonight, 32. Tomorrow, mostly sunny to partly cloudy on your Saturday. 
Uh, 52, I understand it's the Durham Christmas Parade, so you'll just bundle up and you got the sunshine. Sunny skies on Sunday, 46 degrees. And on Monday, mostly sunny, 49. Clouds and sun on Tuesday, 50. Back to 49 on Wednesday. And what? Oop, yeah, yeah, it's got your attention here. Uh, a chance of rain on Thursday that could mix with a little bit of snow because we got some Arctic air coming our way, and we'll show that to you coming up a little later this half hour. But right now, let's just say enjoy the sunshine today because it won't be raining like it was yesterday. Yeah, at least we'll have the sun. That's good news. All right, Bill Ray, thanks All for right. that. Yeah, the sun will be out, but still uh, a chilly day ahead. You can see right now our... Traffic looks really good on Interstate 40, so if you are headed that way, all clear for you right now. And good news, we've got dry roads today. You know, yesterday we had the wet commute, and it was just a nasty day from start to finish. A live drive map starting to get a little busy here this morning with a new crash here reported on 440 near uh, on westbound lanes at near exit 10, Wake Forest Road. We also have a crash on Remington Lake Drive near Six Point Trail in North Raleigh, and then one in Apex, which is slowing down traffic on William Street, and this is right near Up Church Street. So we'll keep an eye on these for you. We'll let you know about a closure down in Fayetteville as well due to a crash coming up in less than 10 minutes. Thanks, Laura. New this morning, a shortage of bus drivers going to be forcing some parents in Durham to find new ways to get their kids to school. CBS 17's Darren Todd is live outside of Hillside High School, one of the many schools affected. Good morning, Darren. Hey, good morning, Bray. I'm actually live in front of the Durham Public Schools headquarters here in the city of Durham. But Hillside High School is one of those schools that are impacted. We're talking about 21 schools, 14 routes that are impacted this morning. And this news was actually brought to us last night. So parents only had a couple of hours to kind of make some arrangements to find new alternate routes for their children to get to school this morning. Now, this is an issue that the school system has been dealing with since this summer. We've been talking about it. We've been plenty of stories on the shortage of bus drivers and the school system is even offering bonuses in hopes of attracting and keeping more drivers. Now this, here is a list of some of those routes that are impacted and also some of those schools like you just mentioned Brea Hillside High is one of them, Hope Valley Elementary and Oak Grove Elementary is also an, um, one of them and a long list of others. Now if you're watching this and you want to see if your school is impacted you live in Durham this morning go on over to CBS17.com for that list. Live here in Durham, Darren Todd, CBS 17 News. All right, thanks, Aaron. It just goes to show you how these shortages are really impacting some of these industries. It's really important. Thanks, Darren. Uh, the Lee County Sheriff's Office says a suspect wanted for murdering his father has been found dead. They say suspect Joseph Kelly's body was found in a wooded area on Buckhorn Road. They believe he took his own life. It was last week when an arrest warrant was first issued for Kelly after allegedly shooting and killing his father, Randy Kelly. That was back in November. There are still no arrests or suspects linked to the Moore County power grid attack that left more than 40,000 customers in the dark. The governor's office is offering a $75,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Investigators say someone fired multiple shots at two substations in West End and Carthage. And Governor uh, Roy Cooper and First Lady Cooper supported a Moore County business with some holiday shopping. Even though the store is one of the businesses that lost power for several days, the owner managed to open up during the outage, gave free books to kids and food to the public. People were really hungry. Um, my friend's neighbor was, she finally checked on her. She was in the bathroom on the floor. I mean, that, um, that was tough. But what I really have such great confidence in is how our community came together. We're continuing to work to make sure that we do everything we can to bring resources to Moore County. Governor Cooper said it will likely be some time after Christmas before any kind of state disaster relief is available. Time right now is 6.06. United States sprinter Randolph Ross is taking to Twitter after being kicked out of the Bowerman Award. And what is behind the lawsuit against North Carolina Representative Madison Cawthorn? Sponsored by Fiesel Roofing. Hey, I'm the uh, plumber. Wait, I called about my garage door. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. That feeling when you realize you should have called Precision. 
Precision Garage Door is the trusted choice for garage door repair and replacement. Sharon Glover. Connie Beatty. Donnie Glover. I'm Dr. Kevin Nishat, and these are my patients. They were afraid to smile, afraid to chew, and afraid of the cost of implants. I showed them mini implants, an incredible technology available at New Image. Mini implants have similar benefits as traditional implants, but only half the cost. I can smile. I can chew. I could afford it. It's not too late to make a change. We can walk you through the steps to a new smile. Now having real teeth is so affordable. North Raleigh Christian Academy is a leader in private education, known for offering affordable, high-quality academics, fine arts, and athletics, all built on strong biblical principles from pre-K through 12th grade. And RCA partners with families to help students achieve their academic potential and spiritual growth in a loving, Christ-centered environment. Where other schools are striving for excellence, NRCA is striving for the exceptional. For more information, visit us at nrcanights.com. Does helping others come naturally to you? Focus your passion and grow your career with a global leader in healthcare. Fresenius Kidney Care is now offering a $15,000 signing bonus to RNs who want to use their talents to help kidney patients receive the best care possible. Apply today at fkcwakecareers.com. Take advantage of our generous offer and help those with kidney disease lead longer, better, healthier lives. Fresenius Kidney Care. 16th and 17th century designs, all superbly hand-knotted, using premium New Zealand wool, 70% off, plus an additional 20% off. Blockbuster sale, rug and home. Precision is the trusted choice for garage door repair and replacement. Call by Wednesday and we'll waive your service call fee with any repair. Or save $200 off your purchase of a new garage door. Precision door service, a name you can trust. Local weather that matters starts now on CBS 17 this morning. Well, if you have a bus to catch for school or other reasons, or you got your car ready to go, warm it up before you head out. It is going to be cold, and it is cold right now, and stay that way uh, through the drive time forecast. Sun is up at 719. Here's what you have to watch for. Just a couple clouds, but some patchy fog, and some of it could be dense. We have that dense fog advisory for the triangle toward the triad and back and down parts of the sand hills that we've been showing you. Otherwise, as I mentioned, it's just a cold start on this mid December. December morning. Here's some of the temperatures in the triangle, 34 in Durham, 36 in Garner and Raleigh, 38 in Zebulon, all above freezing, which is good news, 38 in Fuquay Varina, 36 in Pittsburgh, because we're going to be at freezing tonight, and we got just even colder weather coming our way uh, later in the 10-day. So skies are partly cloudy right now, and we've got uh, a lot of sun. If you don't see the fog, you got sun. If you see some fog, it'll burn off, and you'll see sun. There's noontime. There's the afternoon, just a sunshiny afternoon for you. So Temperatures, we showed you the 9 o'clock temperature of 41, then we'll just climb through the 40s and get up to 49 at noontime. And then this afternoon, we'll see uh, lots of sun, about 52 for a high, low 50s, winds out of the west. And once the sun goes down a little after 5 o'clock, temperatures will fall easily into the mid 40s. High temperatures in the sand hills today, 54 in Sanford, 55 in Dunn, Lillington, Fort Bragg, Rayford, Fayetteville, 53 in Pinehurst. We'll see 56 Clinton, 55 Goldsboro, Benson, Wilson, 54 Rocky Mount, 53 in Smithfield, 51 in Roanoke Rapids, 51 also in South Hill and Lewisburg, 50 in Henderson, Durham and Chapel Hill, 52 Siler City, Cary and Raleigh, and Roxboro. 47 degrees. All mm, right, so low cold. 50s for highs, but it will be sunny, so it's not rainy like yesterday. Yeah, right? and those 50s for highs you'll be wanting by next weekend. We'll show that to you in the 10-day because mm. it's going to get cold. Very cold. You might as well just go to Alaska. <laughs> All right, Bill, right, thanks for that. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Happy Friday to you. We do have dry roads this morning, but we have fog, so be on the lookout for that and just allow some extra time here this morning. We'll check on visibilities coming up. A major road closure still at this hour in Fayetteville. We've been mentioning this 
since we came on the air this morning at 4.30. So 301 uh, near Airport Road is closed in both directions due to a vehicle crash. And this is near uh, the Fayetteville Cemetery and near Airport Road. So if you are in this area, you are going to have to take a detour. You've got Legion Road as an option. You also can use 87 here this morning. We'll monitor this for you. Once we get some information, we'll keep you posted. Uh, but right now, that is closed at this hour. 55 to downtown, about a 13-minute drive using 401 in Raleigh. Thank you, Laura. United States sprinter Randolph Ross took to Twitter after being removed from the Bowerman Awards after an announcement of a three-year suspension. Ross is suspended until June 30th, 2025 and will miss the 2024 Paris Olympics. The back-to-back -back NCAA champion was suspended due to altering official documents specifically regarding a drug test. Ross provided a copy of an automatic email, quote, allegedly confirming an update made to his whereabouts information for the relevant period, but later he admitted that he altered the email when questioned. Ross said in his Twitter statement that the Bowerman committee waited until the day before the flight departure to remove him from the list. He says officials called and told him to lie and say that he was removing himself. He goes on to say the track and field world is one of the most corrupt organizations in the world and doesn't protect its athletes. 32 cadets are now law enforcement officers. One by one, dozens of cadets walked across the stage at Wake Tech's Basic Law Enforcement Training Academy. Graduates of the program went through 768 hours of rigorous training. Officials say that this is the largest class of BLET graduates that Wake Tech has seen in years. Nationwide gas prices are falling. Nationally, a gallon of regular unleaded averaging at a little more than three, oh, just shy of 320 a gallon. In North Carolina, prices have slipped below the $3 mark on average, 298, a little bit more than that in Raleigh. Lower gas prices are good news for drivers who are getting ready to hit the road for the holidays. Travel experts expect to see an increase in drivers this year. One man says that he might take a longer trip because of the lower prices. Yeah, I have uh, grandparents uh, about two and a half hours from here, thinking about seeing them over the holidays. So, yeah, gas prices have helped with that. But the lower the prices could, or excuse me, the lower prices could be temporary. Right now, crews in Kansas are responding to the largest U.S. onshore oil spill in nearly a decade. The used car market is currently booming because of the continued shortage of vehicles. I sold one of my cars. For more than I paid for oh, it, wow. 1700 more in fact. But there is some growing concern over what's called odometer manipulation. Illegally rolling back the mileage on a used car can change the value by hundreds, even thousands of dollars. In this current used car market where we're already seeing record high prices, it's a, it's a way to make a quick buck, unfortunately. North Carolina ranks 10th in the nation for rolled back odometers. Nationwide, there are nearly 2 million cars with mismatched mileage. It's now 6.15. All you music lovers, listen up. Very, very popular queen of country coming to the Triangle. We got the lowdown on when you can buy up some tickets. 16 years I've sat back there in the Weather Center, and most of that time, Bill, I've handed the forecast off to you in the morning, and you turn right back around and hand it off to me in the evening. And throughout that time, we talk and text and email and leave notes on the forecast sheet about a whole bunch of stuff, including the weather. But we rarely get to see each other, and that usually only happens when the weather's bad or someone's given us a free lunch. And that's not too often, it seems. So how did we become friends, especially when you're a Cubs fan? And everyone knows what I am. Congratulations to you on your retirement. Good luck, my friend. And go Cardinals. On the next My Carolina, the holiday season means it is time to party. And no matter what style is your preference, Party City has it all. See all the fun they bring to the studio with their custom balloon bouquets, decorations, dinnerware, and so much more. Oh, look at that costume. And after the celebrations, maybe dreams of sugar plum fairies are dancing in your head? Well, if so, we have just the show for you. We're going to sit down with some of the dancers from the Carolina Ballet to find out what we can expect in this year's performance of The Nutcracker. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you never miss a minute of the fun. In the market for oversized rugs? Right now, almost all hand-knotted 10 by 14 and larger are 70% off, and many an additional 20% off. Also includes a special selection of $1,500 rugs at 80% off for just $2.99. Porkbuster sale, rug and home. Without my good feet, 
I would not be able to do this. And remember, I'm in my 60s. Hey! Celebrate your holiday season with the return of Magic of Lights at Postal Credit Union Music Park. Bigger and brighter than ever for one low price. Featuring the larger-than-life sparkling holiday Barbie display, plus super-sized Bigfoot monster truck and the towering dinosaurs of prehistoric Christmas. Enjoy dancing lights synchronized to your favorite holiday tunes. Pack the car for one low price. November 18th through December 30th. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com. The holidays are for making memories, and you can count on Honda to help you make them. Whether it's in a capable Ridgeline, adventurous CRV, a rugged passport, or a dynamic pilot, start making memories of your own with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. The drive to go further and reach higher. The same thing that inspires you inspires us. At Strayer University, we offer access to up to 10 no-cost gen ed courses to help you save time and money. We're always searching for new ways to make education more affordable so you can keep striving. Good morning, ladies. Is your home the talk of the neighborhood? Well, that's because you don't have a metal roof from Gator Metal Roofing. Our Energy Star rated metal roofs keep your home warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Not to mention how much better it increases your curb appeal. And if you call right now, we'll take off $1,500 from the cost of your new eye-catching metal roof. Be the envy of your neighborhood with a new metal roof from Gator Metal Roofing. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs. In stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Lock in this low rate, plus make no payments for up to 90 days on select new 2022 Ford SUVs. Choose from 6,000 trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. This portion of the news is sponsored by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Now, from the CBS 17 Storm Team, your exclusive 10-day forecast. Temperatures are in the 30s, and we have fog reported across areas in the triangle. You can kind of see it there in Apex. Visibility down to a couple miles. It's the fog all the way even down in Fayetteville reported at, at times. And def no dense fog of advisory in Fayetteville, but it's close by. We got the dense fog advisory from the Triangle back through the Triad and most of the Sand Hills. A lot of areas, a quarter of a mile or less visibility possible through 9 o'clock this morning. Otherwise, the sun should shine today. So we're going to see a lot of sunshine, especially midday and afternoon hours. Just a pretty nice mid-December day with a flow out of the west. And that's what we've got going for today. Tonight, It'll get cold, down a little colder than this morning. We should hit freezing by Saturday morning. Some mostly to partly cloudy skies on Saturday. And then this little dry front will come through while you're sleeping Saturday night. But on Sunday, the winds will be out of the northwest and it'll be colder. So we're going to see sunny skies, but it's definitely going to be colder as high pressure dominates. The one thing you don't see any, precipitation for the, your weekend. It is going to stay dry after all that rain we had yesterday. So lots of sun today after any fog burns off. 52, mostly clear tonight, 32. 52 on Saturday. Saturday, 46 on Sunday, 49 Monday, mixture of clouds and sun on Tuesday, winter 49, and then a chance of rain maybe mixed with some snow Thursday and a few flurries Friday morning before we come mostly sunny. And Christmas weekend, look at these temperatures, highs in the 30s and lows in the teens. You got your wintry blankets and extra coverings and everything, Laura? Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to because that is pretty brutal. Hey, everyone. Happy Friday to you. We've got some breaking news to report to you down in Fayetteville this time. Cumberland County Sheriff's Office say that one of its deputies was hit and killed here on US 301 near Airport Road. This area shut down right now. Avoid this area if you can. Definitely heartbreaking news to report right now, but Legion Road, use that instead, or 87. 
Thanks, Laura. It was a busy night for the Senate as it passed a bill to temporarily avert a government shutdown at the end of this week. The bill now going to head to President Biden to be signed into law. Our Washington correspondent Basil John explains what Congress will need to do before they're in the clear. The 60 vote threshold having been achieved, the motion to concur is agreed to. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer expressed his thanks Thursday night as the Senate passed the continuing resolution. To give our appropriators a chance to finish their work on a year-long funding package. 71 senators voted in favor of this bill to temporarily avert a government shutdown that would have started on Saturday. This is about taking a very simple, exceedingly responsible step to ensure we finish the year without hiccups and without minimal drama. With the immediate threat of a shutdown eliminated, lawmakers from both parties will have time to iron out the details from what is expected to be a $1.7 trillion package. Nobody's going to get everything they want, but the final product will include wins everyone can get behind. However, some lawmakers, like Utah Senator Mike Lee, were frustrated that the Senate pushed this to the last minute. I've been here 12 years, and it seems more often than not we're in a very similar circumstance. House Republicans have pressed to wait till January when they are in control of the House majority, but Democrats and some Republicans in the Senate are focused on completing this work before the next Congress. It's a win for the American people. Now, if the Senate passes the government spending package next week, it will fund the government until next September. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Basil John. Bill, Brea. All right, some very uh, important stuff there. Thanks, Basil. North Carolina Representative Madison Cawthorn is being sued by lawyers that recently represented him for a breach of contract. The Bop Law Firm represented Cawthorn when a group of voters tried to disqualify him because he was involved in the Stop the Steal rally just before the riots on January 6th. The firm says that he hasn't paid them almost $200,000 in legal fees. Governor Cooper said that he had hoped state leaders would reach an agreement this month on expanding Medicaid coverage. But leaders in the General Assembly say they'll wait until next year to take up the issue again. This week, the American Cancer Society launched an ad campaign urging the General Assembly to resolve this, highlighting the state's reputation in college basketball and former UNC head coach Roy Williams' recent op-ed backing the expansion. Republican leaders now say that they support the idea of expanding Medicaid coverage to about six. 600,000 low-income people, but they've made little progress since the summer. Every month that goes by, we're giving up more than half a billion dollars. We're costing people's lives. We're so close. And we really wanted to get, you know, providers and, and professionals, folks who really work in this area and know it, to be really engaged in a meaningful way to, to offer some guidance. And some Republicans remain concerned about the long-term implications of adding so many people to the Medicaid program. The Wake County Animal Shelter needs your help. Full capacity means the shelter could be forced to break their six-year record of avoiding euthanasia for space. Right now, there are more than 200 dogs in the county's care. There's added pressure because this is the only open intake shelter in the county. Other shelters or rescues can refuse an animal for any reason. The center is legally bound to care for abused animals, and operators have to keep strays for a specific amount of time. If you are interested, you can find more information on our website. That's CBS17.com. Shake Shack going to be opening its second location in the Triangle. Here's a video taken at the first Shake Shack opening in our area. It opened back in 2019. The new Shake Shack is on East Franklin Street in Chapel Hill, going to be open on December 22nd. That's a week from Thursday. The first 100 people in the door when it opens at 11 get a limited edition Shake Shack gift. A social district is expected to be up and running in June in Cary. Council members approved the measure, which allows for the sale of alcohol in a walkable area between businesses around the downtown Cary Park. It'll operate from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday through Saturday. And you officially have a chance to see two former American Idol contestants in Cary. Tickets go on sale today for Ruben Studdard and North Carolina native Clay Aiken. The two will perform together at the Coca Booth Amphitheater on April 29th. Ticket sales begin at 10 o'clock this morning. And man, 
If you feel like seeing Shania Twain in concert, tickets for the general public go on sale today starting at 10. She's making a stop at PNC Arena on October 18th, 2023 on her Queen of Me tour. If you can't wait that long, though, your tour begins in April of next year. You just got to make a little trip to Spokane, Washington. <laughs> Might be worth it to see Shania. The Black Nativity Durham returns to the in-person stage today. It's the 16th year for it. The performance was virtual the past couple of years because of COVID-19. The tradition returns on December 16th. You can watch it at Hillside High School's theater. Time right now, 627. All right, we've got 30 seconds to promote two and a half hours of news. You ready? Now let's do this. Okay. All the fun starts at four with Angela, Rod, and Wes. Fast-paced news to catch you up on what you missed. The news continues through 5.30 when Russ and Liz take control, switching things up with a mix of local and national stories before Angela and Rod wrap it all up at six. Phew, that's a lot of news. Yeah, that's why CBS 17 is the local news that matters station. Be sure to tune in weekdays starting at four. Closets by Design does more than organize your home. Maximize space, plus add beauty and value to your home. Take 40% off, plus an extra 15% off, plus free installation. Call 1-800-BY-DESIGN or visit closetsbydesign.com. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Binax Now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. It's bow time. <laughs> nope, you're not seeing double. Right now, you can get two thick, hearty steak biscuits for five bucks only at Bojangles. And a deal that good is enough to make anyone dizzy. It's bow time. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. You know, here, it's not just about the vehicles, it's about the people. And here's my family that works for Heaster. There's me, my youngest daughter. She was our first office intern, son-in-law, and he works in our recon center. My oldest daughter started selling cars. My husband, who works for our Heaster Wholesale Parts Division at our AC Delco warehouse. You just really feel like you're a part of something. It's not just somewhere that you go to work. It's just one more reason to get off your Heaster and come to Heaster. For over 20 years, the Good Feet Store has been helping people actually live the life they envision without their feet getting in the way. See what we can do for you. Nominate a remarkable woman in your life today at CBS17.com. Closets by Design does more than organize your home. Maximize space, plus add beauty and value to your home. Take 40% off, plus an extra 15% off, plus free installation. Call 1-800-BY-DESIGN or visit closetsbydesign.com. Covering local news that matters, this is CBS 17 News This Morning. This is a really big deal for the players. It's a big deal for Durham, too. Right now on CBS 17, an economic boost this weekend for the Triangle. You can carry this trauma over time and not even realize it. The new addition to the Raleigh Fire Department to help first responders deal with the stress of the job. It's kind of that time of year. It's the giving time of year. And a critical need right now to make sure local kids have presents to open Christmas morning. Good morning, and thank you for waking up with us. It is Friday, December 16th. I'm Bill Young. And I'm Brea Hollingsworth. We're going to get to Laura Smith in just a second, but first we'll start with meteorologist Bill Ray. This is the last time I'm now talking Oh, now to you me. get to say it for the last time, <laughs> yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. 37 degrees, some fog out there reducing visibility. We've got 34 in Roxboro, 39 Rocky Mount Wilson, 43 in Fayetteville, 34 Sanford, 36 Pittsburgh. And the dense fog advisory, triangle westward to the triad, southwest into the sand hills technically doesn't include Fayetteville but there's some fog down there too visibility under a quarter of a mile it expires at nine o'clock this morning so we've got some partly cloudy skies uh, looking at uh, mainly sunny skies about the, all you'll see in terms of clouds or some fog early this morning and then we should be loads of sun this afternoon mostly clear tonight we're gonna get down to around freezing a little colder than it is this morning uh, I don't think we'll have a fog worry tomorrow morning and then partly cloudy skies at times tomorrow this little dry front will come through tomorrow night while you're sleeping and leave us with sunny skies on Sunday 
but it'll leave us a little bit colder. All right, let's take a look at that forecast then. Cold and dry today, sunshine, and then just plain old chilly. But uh, that 52, it's going to feel warm when you see the temperatures we're getting later in the 10-day. So a little bit of fog at 8 o'clock, burns off, we're dry, we're sunny, and we're going to get up to 52 degrees today. 32 tonight, 52 tomorrow with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. 30 tomorrow night. We'll see 46 in sunny skies on Sunday, so it is going to be cold. We start next week with some sunshine and 49, clouds and sun on Tuesday, 50. Winter kicks in on Wednesday, 49, and can't help but think that maybe that's our first chance of a little bit of snow mixing in with rain. We're not looking for a snowstorm per se, but some rain with snow, 45 degrees. And you know, Laura, anytime it snows here, we always send Terrence Evans, our chief photographer, out driving around to capture it. And there are times I've walked to see him and play in the snow, but I guess I won't be doing that this time. Yeah, I've heard that story a number of times. He had to come to you. The yes. meteorologist couldn't even make it into the station. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Let's check on visibilities. We are dealing with a foggy commute down to zero in Sanford and reduced in Siler City, Pinehurst, Rayford, uh, even in Irwin. The worst of the fog looking to be to our south and west. So just allow some extra time this morning. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and take you down to Fayetteville because we are watching uh, a closure at this hour. 301 shutdown in both directions due to a hit and run involving a Cumberland County uh, Cumberland County uh, Sheriff's so or deputy that is excuse me but you can see this is on 301 near Airport Road and so that purple indicating that closure use Legion Road instead thanks Laura and I want to go more in this breaking news you were telling us about in the last 15 minutes, Cumberland County Sheriff deputies confirmed the death. Sheriff's office confirmed the death of that deputy. According to the sheriff, deputies were investigating a robbery on Gillespie Street when he was hit by a vehicle. That driver left the scene but was found nearby. The injured deputy was taken to the hospital but died from his injuries. We're working to find out more and we'll keep you updated right here on CBS 17 and using the CBS 17 news app. This morning, parents in Durham are encouraged to find other ways to get their children to school. It's all because of a bus driver shortage. Some buses won't run. Some are delayed. The 14 affected routes are on your screen, but we also have a link if you head over to CBS17.com. Big bucks for the Bull City this weekend as people are descending on the city for the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Championship Games. Mm -hmm. Woo. <laughs> Lots of words. Lots of words. <laughs> this weekend, hundreds of people will be going to Durham, some of them for the very first time. CBS 17's Darren Todd is live in Durham to explain just how big of a deal this is for the city. Darren. Hey, good morning, Bill and Barry. Guys, it's a very big deal. It's going to be a party here in Bull City. So, Bill, you might want to come down this weekend for it, all right? Now, actually, this is actually some good news. Susan Amy with the Discover Durham says that they are going to welcome people from all across the country to come here, and they've held the football championship uh, game last year, and it drew in close to, tw actually, people from 29 different states. That's, that's amazing right there for 29 different states. Amy says that last year, those fans and players brought in half a million dollars. And this year, they're expecting similar in terms of people coming to the Bull City to spend their money. They will go out to our restaurants. Uh, they'll be, of course, staying in our hotels, uh, seeing the sights in Durham. So we're introducing Durham to a whole group of people who otherwise wouldn't be coming here. Yep, they sure are. And that game will be played at the Durham Memorial Stadium. For more information on tickets and more about the game, go on over to CBS17.com. We have a web story waiting for you. Live here in Durham, Darren Todd, CBS 17 News. Darren, thanks. Three first responders hurt in a shooting in Rowan County, all expected to survive. But investigators say that a man is the one who started shooting when firefighters tried to put out the fire at his home. And when police and deputies got to the scene, authorities say the man started shooting again. Officers fired back, shooting and killing him. The Raleigh Fire Department taking a new step to help its firefighters handle stress and trauma. It hired a full-time staff psychologist and believes that it's one of the first fire departments in the state to do so. Firefighters say they deal with other stressors such as lack of sleep, running calls in the middle of the night, and living with people that they did not pick. The chaplain of the Northern Wake Fire Department says when it comes to mental health, it's important for firefighters to know that they have support. Uh, the most important thing is just um, support from um, the chiefs of the department and for the firefighters to know that their department cares about them. 
According to a 2021 CDC blog, firefighters are more likely to die by suicide than in the line of duty. Time right now is 536. Coming up, a warning for seafood lovers. And the claims surrounding the popular game Fortnite and the legal action the Carry based company faces. This portion of the news is sponsored by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. It's the factory authorized clearance at Lazy Boy. Hurry in and save up to 50% on floor samples, one of a kind's closeouts, and more. Everything must go. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. Asheville, Gaffney, Kannapolis, Pineville, and Raleigh. Rug and Home at RugandHome.com. In North Carolina, we know a thing or two about basketball and we'll practice every day to be able to make that pass. We root for the underdog and we know how to hit the game-winning shot. When lawmakers continue to work across the aisle to expand Medicaid to 600,000 veterans, farmers, and cancer patients, everyone wins. North Carolina lawmakers have an opportunity for a slam dunk. Join us in urging lawmakers to expand Medicaid. The ball is in their court. Your roof is the first line of defense against, well, everything. A Fiesel roof has a purpose-built shingle to protect the vulnerable edge. Your roof stays dry and everything else stays put. Visit FieselInc.com and save $1,000 off your new roof. John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. You know, here, it's not just about the vehicles, it's about the people. Four of my nine children have worked here. Yeah, my son, Colin, he's sits right there. I mean, the 14 years explains it. That's all I could say about that. I've been here so long that when I started, my hair was brown. It's slightly gray now. It's just one more reason to get off your Keister and come to Heaster. And CBS is bringing you more. This is the time for miracles. It's the factory authorized clearance at Lazy Boy. Hurry in and save up to 50% on floor samples, one of a kind's closeouts, and more. Everything must go. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. CBS 17 Storm Team's forecast every 10 minutes starts now. Well, usually we show you dogs, but I got to show you my cat one last time. Uh, Ziggy is, uh, gets into things, right? And this is one reason you don't usually take your cat for a walk. They have minds of their own. And when he saw the Snoopy ornament on our Christmas tree, he got it. And so <laughs> he'll probably stay inside today and do that. But if you're going to take your puppy out for a walk or your dog out for a walk, you're going to see uh, temperatures that are in the 50s and green paws for the most part. We've got yellow just because of the fog that's in effect uh, that around the area that might dampen your spirits for a walk early this morning. But if you don't have any fog, you got sunshine when the sun comes up and you're going to see sunny skies throughout much of the day. We'll have winds out of the west and temperatures in the 50s. And if you're wondering, we found the, the unharmed. Snoopy was unharmed and he's now higher up in the tree. So we don't have to worry about him getting snatched again. Hey, look at the fog coming down a little bit on Salem streets, 36 degrees in apex. And we do have partly cloudy skies and spots with clear skies elsewhere. And I'm anticipating a lot of sun today. So rays of sunshine will be a nine. That's fine. Here we go. One last time with some sunny skies uh, at nine o'clock after any fog burns off and sunny skies through the afternoon hours. So your forecast in Fayetteville could have some fog this morning, otherwise mainly sunny, 55 degrees this afternoon. And we're going to see some patchy fog in the triangle, otherwise bright and dry with sunshine and a high of 52 degrees. All right, Laura Smith.
All right, hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Friday, the last day. Live drive map right now, a little busy. We've got plenty of fog, so you want to allow some extra time this morning. Mainly to our south and west of Raleigh, but patchy fog definitely out there. We've got a major road closure right now on 301 in Fayetteville, and this is near Airport Road. Uh, be on the lookout for this. Take an alternate route, Legion Road, or even 86 uh, here, uh, par or 87, that is, parallels that roadway of 301, so keep that in mind this morning. We've got a crash on 440 West near Wake Forest Road right here in North Raleigh. Another one on Remington Lake Drive near Six Point Trail. All right, thanks, Laura. Carrie-based Epic Games, the company behind Fortnite, is facing a lawsuit in Canada. We'll be talking about this one later today. There's a group of parents who claim the popular game is so addictive, it's affecting their kids to the point they are not getting enough sleep. They're not even taking care of their hygiene. At the games calls the lawsuit meritless but a canadian supreme court justice is allowing that class action lawsuit to move forward oysters sold in north carolina are being recalled there are dozens of reports of people getting sick those oysters in question were harvested in galveston bay texas authorities say they are seeing patients with symptoms similar to norovirus a contagious virus that can be spread through contaminated food state health officials say restaurants and stores all over the state could be affected Time for your job alert and today we have four things to keep in mind when you are figuring out the salary at a new job the Granger College of Engineering at the University of Illinois put together a list with four fast points to it know what your experience skills and education are worth on the job market and know the pay range for the industry which might be adjusted for number three on the list and that's cost of living. It can obviously vary dramatically depending upon the location of the job. If you do get multiple offers, use those to negotiate higher pay or a better benefits package. And maybe the job you really want pays less, but you might be able to get something like added vacation as a perk. So if you want a little bit more job advice, I got you covered. Click job alert. It's right underneath the news tab at the top of CBS17.com. Time right now is 643. All week long, we are saying see you soon to meteorologist Bill Ray. After more than 40 years, he's retiring today. As we go to break, here's a little message from our very own Laura Smith. You not here is going to be not as fun back here in the weather center. I'm going to miss seeing you in the morning. You're the first person I see at 3 a.m. You're usually full of energy, and y'all get this. He doesn't even drink coffee. But I'm so excited you get to sleep in past at 2.30 in the morning and do what you want to do. You have earned the title a legend here in Central North Carolina. And there, people are going to miss seeing you on TV. So thank you for everything you have done to keep this community safe. And thank you so much for being the best mentor and friend. And again, I have had so much fun working with you. Stay in touch. And congratulations. Ollie scours the world to find the best bargains to bring to you. We've got a 150 truckload heater buyout. Life Smart Utility Heater, just $21.99. Or Magnavox Oscillating Tower Heater, just $49.99. Hurry in. Ollie! Good stuff, Chief! Waiting. Sometimes it's just inevitable. But if you're over 50 or live with a chronic condition, waiting could be deadly. Because conditions like heart disease or diabetes raise your risk of serious illness or death from untreated COVID. And if you don't get treatment within days, you may not be able to get treatment. So, got COVID symptoms? Get tested and get treated right away. It can't wait. The expert technicians at ARS Rescue Rooter are available to handle all your plumbing needs. Need a new water heater? ARS provides free estimates on new water heater installation. Drains clogged? Take advantage of ARS's 83 or it's free drain clearing special. That's right. If we can't clear it, you don't pay for it. Guaranteed service from trained professionals. That's ARS Rescue Rooter's promise to you. Visit ARS.com to schedule your same-day service today. Call ARS and Rescue Rooter. Precision Garage Door is a name you can trust, and no one does it better. We only use our own employees that go through a rigorous pre-hire and ongoing employee qualification review. When you book, you'll receive a photo and biography of the technicians assigned to your project. Our experts arrive in uniform in our fully stocked and clearly marked truck with the highest quality parts. Trust is everything today, and we strive for a five-star experience on every appointment. Get a free service call with any repair. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. This winter, meet the heroes of performance. Only available at the 
Acura season of performance. This winter, visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the Integra. Here's a high school hoops success story that almost didn't happen. My favorite move is an in and out and a crossover. Camden's always loved playing basketball. Her feet, not so much. I would get a lot of like shin splints, uh, cramps. My feet were like betraying me. So her mom took her in for a fitting at the Good Feet store. Now she's got two rings and two clutch arch supports. They're my secret weapon. I use them every single day. Try them for yourself with a free arch support fitting and test walk at the Good Feet store. Prices are low, low, low. Find gifts for everyone at a fraction of the fancy store's prices. Check out our Vivitar Air Vibes gift kit, just 20 bucks. Or Barbasol Pro Clipper and Grooming Kit, just $19.99. Ollie! Good stuff, cheap! CBS17.com. Local news and weather when you need it. Hello, Bill Ray. We're talking to you from all of us here at CBS Mornings. We just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all your years of service to the viewers of the Raleigh, Durham, Fayetteville area and. Congratulations on your retirement. Yeah, double congratulations. We're going to miss seeing you every morning, and we're also going to miss throwing to you for the local forecast. So what do you say? We do it one last time? Yes. Here's your local forecast with meteorologist Bill, Bill Ray. Ray. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. They're going to do it again because I am working the cut. They'll do it to me again a couple times, but that was nice. Lots of sunshine this weekend. We've got sunshine today after any fog burns off. Sunny skies tomorrow, pretty sunny, and definitely sunny on Sunday. Rain is possible not till next Thursday. So we had all that rain yesterday. We get a long, nice little break of drying out. But we'll see some rain. But you know what? It might mix with some snow. Yes, winter is coming. Arctic air is coming for sure behind that system. So I'm doing, usually I do a weekend on Friday, but I got to go weekend and beyond to let you know that Christmas is going to be cold in the 30s and lows in the teens and be able to wish you a Merry Christmas. All right, partly cloudy skies and 36 degrees, southwest winds at 9, visibility reduced to a three-tenths of a mile. I cannot see the buildings in downtown Raleigh at this time, and we do have that dense fog advisory until 9 o'clock uh, this morning, and that goes to parts of the Sand Hills and the Triad, visibility down under a quarter of an inch. Otherwise, any of that fog, when it burns off, it's going to be sunny. If you don't have any fog at your house, you're going to be sunny once the sun comes up at 719. Sun will set at 503. Enjoy the sunshine today. Enjoy the lower 50s as we'll have winds out of the west. It's just a comfortable day in terms of no rain like we had yesterday in 40s. At least we'll get in the lower 50s today, pretty close to normal. Tonight will be cold. We'll get down to 32. Tomorrow, some partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. And then this dry little front will come through silently while you're sleeping tomorrow night and leave us with sunshine on the day on Sunday. But it will be cooler with the northwest wind and will only be in the mid-40s. So here you go, 52 today, 52 tomorrow, lots of sun today, partly cloudy to mostly sunny tomorrow. Sunny on Sunday, but 46 degrees. And then we're going to see 49 on Monday, mixture of clouds and sun on Tuesday, 50. First day of winter is 49. There's your chance of rain or and maybe a little snow mixed in. And the ending is a few flurries before we turn mostly sunny on Friday, 35. And look at Christmas weekend, Christmas Eve, 33, Christmas Day, 36, and lows in the teens. All right, Laura Smith, I'm right. speechless. I'm speechless, too. Oh, thanks for that, Bill. I think that was the last toss to me. So sad. No, it's not. We've got cut ins. That's right. All right now, you can see uh, traffic uh, moving fine, but we've got a foggy commute, I-40 uh, there. So some clouds definitely starting to lower. You can see a few crashes in and around the area, but my main concern, uh, we do have this closure still in place on US 301 down in southern uh, Fayetteville, uh, closing both directions at Airport Road. You're going to need to take Legion Road or NC 87 this morning to get around into Fayetteville. But definitely a, a, a bad situation there. 440 West at near Wake Forest Road. We've got a crash there, but thankfully not seeing any major slowdowns there. Well, it might be the most wonderful time of the year, but police say the holiday season is a prime opportunity for crime. Authorities say shoplifting, theft, car break-ins, and fraud are all crimes that they see during the month of December. Raleigh, Durham, and Garner police officers are increasing patrols, security checks, and they're working with businesses and retailers to prevent these crimes. But you can always do your part. They recommend locking your car and parking in well-lit areas. They also say hide your valuables and keep your wallets and purses near you.
any opportunity that a thief is given to steal something from you, whether it's your identity, whether it's your credit card information, whether it's just plain old packaging sitting on your front porch, if they have an opportunity to steal it, they're going to do it. And when it comes to online shopping, avoid fraud by only using trusted websites. And today is the last day to adopt an angel for the Salvation Army of Wake County's Angel Tree Program. CBS 17, a very proud sponsor of the program this year. It helps Wake County kids get the gift of Christmas, of their dreams. Organizers say that a couple hundred angels are still on that tree just waiting to be adopted. To adopt an angel, you can go to the Angel Tree, which is at Crabtree Valley Mall, right near the Lego store, or you could adopt one online. So, we've been talking about it, today being... Uh, very exciting, but very sad day here at CBS 17. Yeah, after nearly two decades here at CBS 17 and almost 40 years covering weather in the Triangle, our very own meteorologist Bill Wright is retiring. But there are a few people that wanted to tell him goodbye. Hi, Daddy. Congratulations on your long, very storied, successful career. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for all the sacrifices that you made for us throughout the years that I didn't even realize growing up. Hey, Bill, congratulations on 40 years forecasting the weather in the Triangle. That's amazing. And I'm grateful you and I have been friends for 31 of those years. Now you can sit back, relax, go to more UNC games, more Canes games, and enjoy that first winter storm watching from home. Congratulations, Bill. See you soon. So I was a TV director at another station here in this market when Bill moved to North Carolina in 1984. Uh, so we've been friends for a long time. Um, Bill, I suppose that you can't stay on the air in the same market for pretty much 40 years without doing something right. So congratulations on a great career. Best of luck in your retirement, and we'll be seeing you soon. producer for the last 10 years. I have worked with you through 10 hurricane seasons, 10 winter weathers, and 10 years of everything that you think you deserve extra time for. Um, most of our relationship has been through the control room, um, and I'm going to miss you a ton. You are super passionate about what you do, and I absolutely love working with you. And for the last time, right. I just wanted to wish you um, congratulations on your retirement. Um, it's going to be a lot different while you're working here. And oh, and I have, I have one more person that wanted to say something. Congratulations, Bill Ray. May every day be a ray of sunshine. Have a great retirement, Bill. Hey, Bill. Uh, you and I have worked together for many, many years, going back to another station in town that I won't mention here. So I'm going to really miss having you around the station. I just wanted to say... Congratulations on your retirement, and uh, because I edited this thing, I snuck in some Kane's footage for you, since I know you love them so much. Hey, Bill, Rod Brindamar here. Just want to congratulate you on a great career, and good luck with your retirement. Well deserved. Um, not so much about your... You're a great forecast there, cold and ice. We like it. Not many people do, but uh, great job and good luck. So how did we become friends, especially when you're a Cubs fan? And everyone knows what I am. But you know what? I'm glad we did. And I thank you for being there for me and the weather department, the newsroom, and especially our viewers over all those years. And congratulations to you on your... Good luck, my friend. And go Cardinals. Congratulations on your retirement. I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. And I just want to thank you for all the sacrifices you've made throughout the years and your career opportunities so we could stay in this area. I cannot wait to see what this next chapter holds for us. And I love you very much. Congratulations. Yeah, you know, it's Chris Holman I've known for 31 years professionally. And, but Wes I've worked with for 16 years, and uh, those are close people to me. But when you saw that package, start with my daughter and end with my wife, that's what's important. Yeah. She's never been to the station, people. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you. Yeah. I am not a morning person. She's not a morning person, and she's never been down here from uh, Durham. So thank you for coming, honey. I'm so proud of you. I'm so thank happy. You. I'm so excited. And this is from the weather team. We got you a Hawaiian shirt for Aruba. We heard about oh, okay. that. Okay, I'm going to Aruba this summer. <laughs>
And uh, I did want to mention, people just blew up my Facebook about how amazing you are. One person said, you used to dress up Willie, so their parents... Willie so Toggs. So their son the knew how station. to dress each and every day. He, he was my seven-year-old perpetual child back in the back in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> and uh, Marcus says, welcome to the Lazy Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember Bill from his first days on TV here in the Triangle. Scott said, once when he was a guest speaker at a civic club, uh, he had a great personality, he was very likable, and you have some good one-liners. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right, but boy, oh boy, it's been a, it's been a great, uh, great career. Just, it's, it's, you know, you think about it. Uh, when I was a kid, my mom and dad used to get crazy because this was before we had TVs that push button knobs. Mm -hmm. I would just want to watch every weather cast on TV in sh outside of Chicago, and I'd be like, click, 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 and they'd be, stop, just watch one. I said, no, i got to see them all. And I took that and my love of science and decided when I went to college that I wanted to be a meteorologist. And we had a, mm -hmm. a DeKalb Evening News. You guys had it at USC, a, a, an evening newscast, and I got to do the weather one year, and I was on hog heaven, and I said, this is what I want to do. So blessed to be able to do it so many years. And fun fact, I was in journalism school with his daughter. Yeah. So that's where I actually first met Bill Ray. I met her, yeah. Here well, we are. Just a student. Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to miss you, Bill. Well, thank you. <laughs> and we get to have Christmas at home. Yeah. <laughs> Carolina, the holiday season means it's time to party. Yes, and no matter what style is your preference, Party City has it all. See all the fun they bring to the studio with their custom balloon bouquets, decorations, dinnerware, and so much more. Learn more at 9 a.m. Hi, I'm Bill Young from CBS 17. This time of year, there are a lot of great organizations doing amazing work for our communities, and they could use your help. Whether you donate time or money, they would welcome your involvement in this season of giving. In the market for oversized rugs? Right now, almost all hand-knotted 10 by 14 and larger are 70% off, and many an additional 20% off. Also includes a special selection of $1,500 rugs at 80% off for just $2.99. Blockbuster sale, rug and home. Good morning. I'm Ron with Gator Metal Roofing, and I'm here to remind you of our energy-efficient roofs made right here in North Carolina. Gator Metal roofs don't absorb and retain heat. They're eco-friendly, Energy Star rated, and 100% recyclable. The truth is, traditional asphalt roofs are just less durable than our Gator Metal roofs, which could last up to three times longer than shingles. Our Gator Metal roofs are designed to withstand strong winds, driving rain, ice, hail, high heat, and heavy snow. Gator Metal roofs come in 18 energy-efficient color options to choose from. All of this comes with a lifetime warranty and our 40% energy savings pledge. Give us a call and see if you qualify for 0% financing with payments as low as $99 per month. We only have a limited number of openings, so call right now. So get off your asphalt and call Gator Metal Roofing today. Waiting sometimes is just inevitable. But if you're over 50 or live with a chronic condition, waiting could be deadly. Because conditions like heart disease or diabetes raise your risk of serious illness or death from untreated COVID. And if you don't get treatment within days, you may not be able to get treatment. So, got COVID symptoms? Get tested and get treated right away. It can't wait. When it's go time, I don't let constipation stop me. New great tasting Dolkalax Chewy Fruit Bites work naturally with the water in your body in as little as 30 minutes. So you can go fast, go gently, and go on with life. New Dolkalax Chewy Fruit Bites put you comfortably in control. CBS Mornings, it's Friday, you made it. I'm Gail King. I'm Tony DeCopel. And I'm Vladimir Gutierrez. Nate's on assignment today, but we're still here, so let's go to today's eye-opener, It's Your World, in 90 seconds. We speak to migrants at the border as a pandemic-era policy hangs in the balance. What a ruling as soon as today could really mean. A clearing call to put aside politics and recognize the humanitarian crises that have come to our borders. A massive winter storm system hammers the Northeast after battering much of the country with snow, ice, and even tornadoes. Literally the roof, all the roof just goes... 
A former Fort Worth, Texas police officer is convicted of manslaughter in the shooting death of a woman inside her home. More states ban TikTok on government devices amid warnings about possible privacy violations. You're looking through all of my contacts to see whether those people are on TikTok. Critics of Elon Musk are saying so much for free speech. Twitter has suspended at least 10 journalists who have been covering him. The legend of Brock Purdy grows. The rookie led the 49ers to an NFC West clinching victory in Seattle. Tell me this guy doesn't look like he's in the seventh year in the league. As we all know, Avatar The Way of Water is finally out this weekend, and everybody is going crazy. They say Avatar has to make $2 billion just to break even. Even Elon Musk was like, you guys overpaid for this. <laughs> Former President Trump said that he was going to make a, quote, major announcement, and today he did exactly that. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection, really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. That is very exciting. I bet Lincoln's super jealous he didn't think of that. Jumping in on the NFT market when it's at its hottest. <laughs> Next, he's releasing an exclusive line of rotary phones. This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Getting one? <laughs> Get a Trump the rotary, rotary phone? phone? Yes. <laughs> rotary it, phone? It, it's yellow. Still have mine. Yeah, it's yellow. It's yellow. You got color. me with the yellow. Yes, I'll, I'll get one of those. We've got, we welcome you to CBS Mornings. We've got some of your favorite people on the show yeah, today. Right, Shauna Thomas? She's our executive producer. The one and only Late Late Show host, James Corden, will be here in the building to talk about his future plans, including the new show, Mammals. This, is, this show is so good. It's on Amazon. He's playing a chef. Let's just say he's got a whole lot of stuff on his plate. He really, really does. Also, the one and only RuPaul is here to celebrate the new season of RuPaul's Drag Race, featuring some very special guest judges. Always fun when RuPaul stops by. Yeah, plus David Begno sat down with Kennedy Center honoree Tanya Leone. She's had a legendary career, of course, as a composer and a conductor. And as usual, David and his team had a big surprise for her, and things got very emotional. David is always good with a surprise. I'm, I, I want to know what the I want to be is. surprised, too. I yeah. don't know what it is. <laughs> Not just time. But we're going to begin with the crisis at America's southern border. Right now, an average of 2,500 people are crossing into El Paso, Texas, every single day. Men, women, and children. And that number could soon skyrocket with the expiration of a pandemic-era rule that made it easier to turn back migrants. A ruling on that could come later today. Lilia Luciano spoke to some of those seeking asylum in this country about why they are here and what changes in U.S. policy could mean to them. Lilia's at a makeshift shelter in El Paso. Lilia, good morning to you. A lot of people waiting for this decision. That's right, Gail. Good morning. Well, yesterday I heard from people waiting to make their claim for asylum to cross the border. Families from Colombia, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Ecuador fleeing persecution, violence, threats. They know that next week could be a very important date. If Title 42 is lifted on Wednesday, they know the lines to try to get across will be longer, but maybe their chances to stay could be brighter. Along the dusty, crowded edge where El Paso meets Mexico, hundreds of refugees and migrants await an uncertain future. <laughs> Despite the doubts, little faces beamed hopeful. Because you're so close to arriving. Gladys's joy almost masked her parents' exhaustion after a 20-day journey from Ecuador, where they say criminal gangs extorted them and threatened to harm their young daughter. What do you hope will happen? In the future, to have a good job, to study, to study. A good life, a good future, to study and to have a good job one day. Here, at the final stretch, the roles reversed. It was young Gladys comforting her mother, who lamented how fast her child was forced to grow. Several times a day, Border Patrol opens up the gates to let dozens of migrants in to be processed, and many are released to wait for an asylum hearing in the U.S. The agency says if Title 42 expires as planned next week, they expect the numbers to increase dramatically. Over in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, staring at the line from a distance, other migrants wait. What are you waiting for?